I say quick cheers. <clears throat> Best of luck. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Best of luck all. Just a quick sip. We sit here drinking beer for an hour and not say a word. <laughs> Is that the podcast? <laughs> yeah, you just have to hear the sounds of... Yeah, this will be good. Sipping. All right. So, ready? I'm ready. Live from the Let's Talk Beer Studios in the Seacoast of New Hampshire at 10 a.m. on a Sunday... I'm Labor Brian. Day weekend. Labor Day Labor weekend. Day weekend. Yeah, let's, let's, let's let it sit in. Labor Day weekend. I'm Brian, and this is Let's Talk Beer, the podcast where we sit down, uh, have some beers, and we talk about beer. Again, I'm your host, Brian. I'm sitting with co-host Ben. What's up, Ben? What's going on, guys? And co-host Jeff. What's How up? How y'all doing? And a uh, very uh, unorthodox uh, podcast today. Uh, we have been hinting it for the past, God, it, it, ever since Ben and I kicked off the show, we're like, we got to try something like this, but we alluded to it more last week. It's power hour time. Uh, again, it's 10, 15 a.m. on a Sunday, and what better way to uh, kind of celebrate the middle of the long weekend than do a power hour, um, a couple of 30-year-olds just drinking beer. Uh, how, do, how are you guys on this Sunday morning? Good, good. Fantastic. I appreciate being lumped in also with uh, 30-year-olds. That's that's pretty – Wait, how old are you? I'm, 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 I've, got, I've got four weeks left. To, oh, to claim that. Oh, man. All right. Well, get him in there. We have five more power 40 hours. is the new 30. <laughs> yeah, 40 is the new 30. Saying. So, yes, uh, for, for those uh, watching on the Facebook Live, uh, awesome. Welcome. Come on in. Ask us questions about the whole thing. And, again, uh, this is an audio podcast as well, so uh, we're going to keep this keep this rolling for you as well. But if you're listening to the audio podcast and want to see this all go down, let's talk. Here's the website. Get you over to the Facebook page where this is being recorded uh, live. Jeff, any, uh, any, any thoughts before we get going on this thing? Uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, this is how uh, men are made. So <laughs> let's hopefully you're, uh, you're able to keep up because this is Brian's first power hour. That is the, the thing that I think yes. uh, has been mentioned. A the, few times. The, the rumor's true first. Uh, and what I liked about us is, uh, what I like about us is we just get each other. No, uh, we did some pre, uh, show videos, uh, me on my way to Lowe's, you on your way to my house. So you can get those preview videos, uh, somewhere down, uh, below, uh, a I lot guess, of personal info in those about our coffee choices. Exactly. And yeah. So. And if you want a quick, uh, uncopyrighted Britney Spears before they pull it down, get it because uh, Aroma Joe's is blaring. Oops, I did it again. So, all right. Uh, Want to walk? Uh, is that feed live on the right? Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit delayed. The one the Facebook's like a tad yeah. delayed. It's just like sitting here in this. But is it? Going. All right. Well, let us know if it's uh, if it's bad. I don't know. Can you pull up your yeah, thing real quick? Let me pull up. On oh, this is good. So. Uh, Real quick before uh, we get going on this, I want to let you guys. Uh, no, no. Good, we're good, we're good now. Yep. We're good. Okay, cool. Right. We're good. We're good. So I'm not going to kill time at all. So do you want to give us the rules? Should we pour our first? You already uh, did. Yeah, I always have mine ready. Okay, so, so what are the rules of a power hour for the layman that are uh, coming in here watching this, and for myself who's never done it before? So as as implied by the name, it is an hour's worth, uh, and basically what we do is How are we looking? Good. every minute. That's up to you. It's you know it's a gentleman's rules. Um, every minute for one hour, you take a shot of beer. Uh, we're using ounce and a half shot glasses, um, probably going to be a little room for head. So we're not taking exactly an ounce and a half every shot. Uh, but the object is around an ounce of beer per minute, uh, resulting in 60, 60 ounces of beer, which should be five cans of beer in the span of an hour. Seems easy. Seems very easy right. until I don't know, minute 35, 38, where you're like, all right, we're, 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 we're not even close to done. Uh, it's all about the the CO two buildup. You gotta you gotta have a system for uh, dispensing of the CO two. So you may uh, you may hear a burp or two out of Brian because it's it's gonna be necessary. Just me, yeah, just me. No, I'll burp too. But, um, but yeah, and so we we do expect to, to, it's gonna be exactly an hour. So once the hour's up, you know, it's very, it's a very time podcast. The beer of choice, as you can see in the gesture to the Miller Corner, High Life, yeah. uh, we got the beer cam on the top left there. Miller yeah. High Life is the beer of choice. Got my High Life shirt on. Jeff's got the High Life shirt on. And uh, we got a timer down here too uh, on the video, but you'll also be able to hear it on the audio podcast too. It's a, I don't know, some fitness timer I found online that should be working um, or that that, sh that you can use it for anything you want. And we're going to use it for this. So if you fall behind, you catch back up. So you may have to be doing two shots a minute if you start to fall behind. Okay. That is allowed. So let's get this going. I want to start the timer now, and then we'll just start the show because I want to catch up on what you guys have been doing in the past week. Uh, you had an awesome day yesterday that I want to hear I about. I did have a fun day, yes. But I want to hear about it before stuff gets weird. So I think I, I think to actually do it, I think you're going to start the timer. We're going to take our first shot at the minute mark because that would mm -hmm. be, be 61 if we start first. No, you go one, right? Is it, it's at the end of the minute, I think. Really? Because that yeah, wouldn't be at the – either way, whatever. 
Let's take a shot because then start because it counts. Okay, yeah. Let's well, take a shot. No, when it dings, we'll we'll go. And then because it should ding sixty times because it should exactly it should ding sixty exactly. times. Exactly. Yeah, it should ding. All right. That's the name of this podcast. It should ding. It should ding. Welcome to it should ding. <laughs> <laughs> it should ding. It's a ding. All right, guys, uh, ready? Oh, and uh, I should I should mention not to not to get him uh, our special guest here. Uh, oh no, he's, he's a host, co-host. We got him. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Not not, not to uh, to uh, uh, understate what Ben is here for. Ben is going to be running the chats. Uh, un- I mean, us, unfortunately, not uh, unfortunately for us, he will not be joining us because he has other duties today. Which, but again, he's here at ten a.m. to to help us keep this damn thing on track. He has responsibilities. Yes, yes. So, and I'll also be using my medical degree just in case anything. Yes, right. exactly. you are in charge. Right. Uh, before we start, bathroom's over there. Good to go. Ben, thanks for for uh, keeping track of this, and uh, we're gonna get ready to go. And uh, this should give us a five second countdown. And Jeff, I'll see you. All right. It's nice knowing you. On the other side. Yeah. Three, <laughs> I see you on this side. Two, one. Okay, and we're on. Success. All right. We're, All right. We're, we have the first good. one in. Looking good. Can we just replay that 60 times? Uh, like on the video? <laughs> yeah, so, if you want to. <laughs> loop it. So, yeah. Uh, again, Let's Talk Beer. Uh, we have a lot of stuff coming up uh, in the po- down the pipe. Um, and I want to bring up the schedule right quick. Because we got a lot of good stuff coming up. And uh, next week... Or, God, it's less than a week away. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, is it Thursday? Yep, Thursday. We have Nick Evans coming in from York River Landing. Awesome and, guy. And uh, the Johnsons... Super- uh, out, uh, foods, super knowledgeable yeah. beer guy. Pump for that, and then on the eleventh, uh, four days after, we have can't wait. Anthony Cormier is coming in, also super knowledgeable beer guy. This Amazing. is gonna be great. So that's the schedule coming up. Uh, up some more stuff down the pipe, but we want to make sure you guys know that there's a place you can go for uh, for the schedule. And that's let's talk that beer on the, on the old book. Face. And we will be adding to this as well. Hopefully, we're gonna try no, to after the show. We're it's calling it. it, it yeah, over. we're gonna try to publish some dates just to give you guys a better opportunity. To exactly. Oh, here we go. This is the first time I've done a power hour like with another objective, i.e. doing this podcast. Like normally you're just sitting here waiting for the timer. And, so and I that's think what, it's nice. So Ben will toss us some color commentary, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Is this gonna be one of those like rub your belly and tap your head kind of but, thing? Uh, two, and, two but things at the th- same that's why I have like I have things I want to get yeah. off the top. We're real a little quick. more organized this yeah. time so we can stay that way. So right off the top, uh, again, real quick, the show schedule's there and um Look for us at the um, NH Brewers Fest is what it's called, right? Or the NH Brew Fest? It's the, I think it's the NH, NH Brew, Brew Fest because yes. it's not all NH Brewers. Yep. Uh, it's at Red Hook. Uh, October is the date. 14th? All October. October yeah. It's Saturday, October 14th. Yes. And uh, we will be uh, having some shirts. Uh, we Our be, own custom yeah, shirts. So, so keep an eye out for, for the shirt. And uh, you'll know when you see us. And uh, make sure you say hi. And we'll we'll say this every week until the, po- until the podcast. And we'll, we may do some uh, impromptu Facebook Lives and some other recordings while we're there for sure. So yeah. definitely. Definitely be fun. It's the first burp. Is that, is that bad? No. no. You're just making way. You're okay. making way. So I had a bagel before this. Continuous <laughs> burping will be your friend, <laughs> honestly. Not Three immediately. seltzers. Yeah. Uh, so, Ben, uh, how have you been since the last podcast? Good. Good. Um, <clears throat> not too much going on. Uh, went down to 7th a couple times. Actually, we can talk about 7th. This is uh, oh, yeah. their new um, no-tip policy. Starts goes tomorrow. into place tomorrow, yeah. Don't uh, tip. I, I, no, I, I certainly won't. Have they announced the like the new prices? I assume no. prices are going up. They yes. have to. Yeah. And I was there yesterday, and they're taking the TBLT off the menu. Oh. And the wait staff was very upset because they like that. But I guess the what the server told us is it's for cost effectiveness. So I wonder what goes into that that makes it crazy. So like the so, price would have gone up too high? So it's going to be a full new menu because right. I had the Cuban yesterday finally. Yeah. But yeah, sorry. Continue on your... Uh... No. So I was going to... I mean, it, it'll be interesting to think. I, I kind of feel like... Uh, they were ramping up to this with like pricing and stuff because over the past couple of years, I think one of the biggest complaints about Seventh Settlement has been the uh, the the cost of the food versus the, the amount that you get. And I think that yeah. they've they've been tweaking that over the year or a year and a half that we've been going there. And right now, the portion sizes are like massive. I remember you said, like we were at lunch and like, okay, yes, get that, but also it's huge. I'm like, yeah. okay, but well, what else do you like? This, but it's also also huge. huge. Cubano, <laughs> huge Cubano. steak sandwich gigantic i mean it's like Cuban a lunch good. and dinner and then you know throw a side in there so i think like it, it it's a nice little buffer into like okay you're going to be paying a little bit more for this now yeah tips included and but also you know you're getting a lot of food awesome. the chicken gyro thing or gyro oh yeah how is it, the pita yeah i almost got that also too. a massive it's gigantic uh and they so we went there th- did you join us Thursday? For, yeah, I joined you Thursday for one beer. Yep. Friday, we were there again for lunch, and they had another beer on tap. And then yesterday, they just added another beer. So, yeah. Pilsner. The, uh, and the, and the, uh, 
uh, in the uh, cream ale on nitro. Always, always great. Always good. So maybe today they have another beer on tap because th- they still have three or four more uh, spaces left to fill on that chalkboard. Yeah, because they w- did go from a from a huge tap list to all for all yeah. all taps being used. And it's it's interesting. And uh, I'll transition over to, to Garrison in a second because this kind of has the same the same way. It's not they have a v- wide variety of beers, but they all happen to be the same color at this moment, um, except for the brown ale. The brown ale is obviously brown and the rest are of different beer varieties but uh, you have a pilsner you have a check an- another check pilsner you have the cream ale so same color but not like the hazy ipas you'll see everywhere else i was at garrison and now the week two weeks prior they had oh, what seemed nothing like nothing more than all hazy ipas but this past time they have every color of the rainbow you can get sours they had uh their box and whisker and they also had a coconut uh stout i forget forget the name of it though it's their stout but with coconut in it so good um yeah uh somebody was saying oh sunny's is uh, there's got to be something going on between garrison city and sunny's where like the minute garrison city runs out of something at their tap uh, at their tap room it goes on at sunny's like across the street so if you like really wanted something and they're out of it it's a pretty Okay, chance that it might be over there at uh, at Sunny's. Oh yeah, which I haven't been to in a while. But. I, I was there uh, two uh, last week for the first time. Uh, actually, I think we went there for a beer once, but uh, I went there for dinner, and their food was really good. Got their uh, picnic basket, I think it was called, but it had a uh, Carolina chicken, some pickled watermelon. Which ever had a, a pickled fruit? No, it's pretty good. I love Carolina chicken though too. You already got me hooked. It's so. like it had some a good sauce on there and everything. It was it was really good. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, Sunny's is is. Uh, tops what are we doing here you want to talk about this yeah because <laughs> if, if people are watching the video they're like what the, what's, the, what's going on so um something that uh these guys had sent these to brian uh over a year ago probably june, june a year and a half june ago. of last year yeah um and we had always talked about doing a podcast with these and what better time to to do it than than right now um it's oh, called yeah. mad call. hops and it is basically like um a mio water you know those things you squeeze into your water to make it taste better but for beer uh and what it is purported to do is you know take a regular beer and add some flavor to it and it comes in five comes in six flavors we yep, got just right there mexican lime yep mexican lime pa- which Lakota. is supposed to be a corona with a corona with a lime yeah pale ale which is supposed to be a sierra nevada apple amber Red's apple ale, wild blueberry, which is uh, Endicottville wild blueberry ale, cherry wheat, Sam <laughs> Adams, and then Irish porter, which they just say it has overtones of coffee and chocolate. But so, Three, I think two, what they want you to do one. is p- p- like do a couple shots of this yep. Irish porter into your generic lager, I, I imagine, um, which is a problem in itself, but. Long story short, I'm going to try a few squeezes of the pale ale. So you're, so you're putting a life. pale ale into a high life, which look at the color already. It's not pale, but it's also an extract, so it'll but do you like, even do you out. Do you mix it up? or? Uh, yeah, but you want to use a, a – I got a clean pen here. I used my finger because I guess you're supposed to put the, the juice in before oh, you yeah, pour so the beer, it, which so it's you okay, so, you, so you said finger and juice, so I got to go ahead and do this real quick, put the sign up there. <laughs> um, is it – wait, are you tasting – did you just taste like the extract straight up? Was, no, I, I was a little bit – it was on my finger, and I, it was very – So, and it, what's, what's crazy is, I mean, in that, the pale ale and then the Mexican lime seem normal, but making a – uh, ale into a stout i'm interested in right. i'm gonna taste some of the extract right on my finger have Whoa. you did you do it no well this is what, the idea uh, of it let me take my Why? shot first yeah. Hold on. what i should have done was had a, a little bit of your one for me i don't know how you're work how you're counting it right. should have had a little bit of high life just as a control to to I got it right here you know see how it what? was before oh. that how's that work one of them was the one i don't know how we have an extra i'm not sure it's fine I don't. I mean, maybe I didn't put enough in. I don't really taste. I tasted it on the first sip after I put it in. I was like, "Oh yeah, there's a hoppiness that wasn't there before." Interesting. And then every successive taste was was normal. And I wonder yeah. what. So, I, I wonder what like the, a, a little brown film at the bottom of it that I can. See. I don't. Get, I don't know we're mixing it enough. I think we definitely should on the next one. Oh, Brian had right to had kind of, boop. And I almost tried to mute it too. I'm like, this is burp we're mute. Not doing this. Burp mute. Burp mute. Um, but I wish I knew what the ingredients were in it. So like what. What makes it? Yeah, is it is it pale? Like true co- hop is there hop extract? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger. Oh boy. And try. You put that uh, that warning back up again. Oh yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Three, two, oh, it is one. terrible. 
honestly, it, it tastes like if you were to like hose down the floor of a brew house after they mm. were like had bottled and kegged. Yeah. Because it, it does have a, a, a <clears throat> happy fl- day. It does have a beerness about it, if but you, it's if weird. You squeegeed across the floor with one of those big wide squeegees, and then took your finger and it's like when the, it's like when the bartender rings out the bar mat <laughs> and gives you that. Oh uh, yeah, I forget what that's called. But that's the it's called the, <laughs> called the, the, the last call. Yeah. <laughs> and it just there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's. If you want to try, try. I mean, it's not like horribly offensive. It's a, it's bitter. It, honestly, it's, it's more wanna, bitter than anything. I don't want to mix. See, it's. But we also have, so we'll, I mean. Yeah, it's got like some sweetness to it though also. Yeah. But in a good way? It's early on sweet. It's, 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 it's yeah. Okay. It's, and, it's, and then it gets bitter. Yeah. So at least that particular. I like one. how we're giving them the spotlight now because it had been a while. And like, we, no, we talk about, about this. this. And then we just, but I, I found never it. thought about and it. And I, I got some, I got some cards and stuff and a, a, a little uh, Two, bumper sticker. One. But it's behind my poor and my shell here. I also have a koozie. Uh, but uh, don't we all have koozies? Too many. What's the deal with koozies now? It's like, I'm not going to start that. We'll save them up for the Let's Talk Beer live show. Oh, for Surprises. sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's called Mad Hops, and I don't know if they're still around. They, their website is still up, actually. Still up? I was okay. just looking, uh, and you can you can buy the six-pack for $30. Um, well, yeah. Hey, because guys, it makes beer. And that, and that so. if, <laughs> buying all six flavors uh, oh saves you God. $3 a bottle. So they, these are uh, seven ninety nine. dollars for this uh, for this bottle, there's it's, no size on it. What is this? Probably two ounces, an ounce or two at the most. This is probably really expensive to make, hence the cost. And they're just banking on the I, the gift aspect of this, uh, absolutely. Your yeah. grandmother Ab- yeah. is going to buy this. Oh for yeah, you for yeah. Christmas. Ben likes beer. We'll get him. We'll get him some of this yeah. stuff. It's unique. Wow. There's probably not another one on the market. So what, it's I, like, what I don't want is the pumpkin. Like I don't want the pumpkin. It's, I they can't have, imagine. They have a pumpkin. It says, "Oh, flavor's coming soon." Do you not see this? Oh, one? I got it. I got it. Coming soon as, as of last year, though. As Mostly pre- fruit. So currently on the website, there are uh, only the individual six or the mixed or the the combined package. There is no additional flavors have come out. So mm. it says, uh, and this is all. This is where it gets weird. Uh, chocolate, cinnamon, maple, pumpkin, apricot, nope. Nope. tangerine, nope. 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 grapefruit. Nope. You know what? I bet it is. I bet you the emergence of all the fruited IPAs oh, killed yeah. probably killed their yeah. plan to introduce all those. Uh, grapefruit. Ginger, lemon, and strawberry. Nope, no, thank you. Nope. Uh, I'm super checking their Twitter feed to see if they're um, super active. Uh, yeah, September first, somebody was drinking a blueberry uh, in a Bud Light. Hmm. Which, honestly, in the color based on this, uh, looks like they put a lot of stuff in there because this Three, looks two, straight up blue. One. Yeah, that looks like a legit blueberry. Like blueberry? Really... What do we got in the comments, man? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's Labor Day. People are, People are still in bed. It should be, as it should be. Uh, any more c- comments on the old Mad Hops stuff? Uh, uh, no, I'm just curious. I, I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, this is just a. a Let's do it. Oh, we got to do it. Last. Um, did you wear the, jeans? What? Did you wear jeans? Yeah, we're is, jeans. It, is it because of the comment of a lot of side leg? I, I said that a few minutes ago. I was like, <laughs> Anthony, oh, I didn't even. I didn't even apparently, know. that day I was like, I was like f- fixing my shorts. Also, I, was in the, I was looking in the mirror. I'm like, those are jeans. It and, also used to be incredibly hot. In the Let's Talk Beer studio, true. Brian true. was so concerned about noise from fans and ACs that he uh, made no, Ben and I suffer. Let's let's back it up though. Noise from fans outside screaming about the podcast. Yeah. Uh, no, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, that's Keep that, it down. that's exactly <laughs> what I meant. And it, by ACs, I meant AC Slater from Saved by the Bell. Uh, Mario Lopez yes, is doing Mario Lopez tonight. He's right camped outside out in the front yard. Oh my god! But uh, yeah, so I actually I um we made I, it. We made I wore it. jeans uh, yesterday for the first time, uh, and so I'm I think summer's over for me. God, yeah. I hope not. I did jeans. Uh, I did jeans two days ago, but yeah, I can't. I got to start start pulling the ACs out. Let's talk uh, about this. I put stuff on the desk to uh, talk about it. Mm. So my dad and my mom came up yesterday, and my dad brought me a little gift. And you guys both collectively, separately, said, "Wow." Yes. No, we did know. say it at the same time. Also. Same time. But yeah, is, yeah. You were driving. You said, "Wow," but no, the Oban uh, single malt Scotch wh- whiskey, Good. fourteen year, the fourteen year. And, and which is, I mean, so Rick it Bruce, comes in a tube. I I, I like to uh, imagine that I teach Rick Brew something about beer, you know. Uh, but he, on the other hand, uh, introduced introducing me to a bunch of uh, good stuff like this. So oh, yeah, you like? It sounds good. Yeah, what sixty first shot? Good? Sixty. We're gonna do or maybe a taste. Six, maybe 60, not a full 61st shot. Sixty first and a half. Yeah, yeah, taste. Okay, it's like naked gun. Sixty first and a half. Yep. Oh yeah, I gotta get my shot so ready here. Sh- yeah, Rick Brew's knows a scotch. We've talked. We've Three, talked scotch a bunch. No. 
We should do a whole Scotch show. Okay, I, I, I was waiting for you to finish that sentence. I'm like, we should do a Scotch Power Hour. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's like a single <laughs> no. sip over, like... Scotch Power five minutes, and then <laughs> yeah. the ambulance comes. It's Power Man 5000 in the background. <laughs> Boy. There's one, if Meredith's watching, he's pumped right now. We mention that band once a week. For whatever reason. Just for him. Yep. So, uh... <laughs> How's everyone's weekend going? <laughs> oh, wait, let's talk about your weekend. Yeah, well, my, my day. I, I crammed it all into one day. Since I had to do this today, I couldn't have a whole weekend. My apologies. But no, you, had, okay. you had a hell of a day, though. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think I've mentioned on one of the previous podcasts that uh, my good friend Wes uh, and uh, Epa, my friends uh, from San Francisco, sent me a little beer care package with the request that I uh, send it back with some good stuff in it. And empty. so send them, send them the yeah, stuff empty. exactly. There you go, guys. They, really light. 15 cents a bottle. They were, they were delicious. <laughs> yeah. um, this one's light. But being out in California um, where they can't get some of the East Coast favorites that are out there right now. Yep. We, uh, we went down to uh, Trillium in um, the Fort Point neighborhood in Boston to pick up some cans to go for them. Nice. Uh, I had never been there before. Yeah, um, I haven't either. As we've talked, we're not line waiters. And so I just Wait. was like, I'd, I'd never been. Uh, thankfully, at 4 p.m. on a uh, on a Saturday of Labor Day, there's no line. Weird, though. Uh, yeah. So we, I, I, mean, I mean, there was like two people or whatever. Um, but we. So you we, did lie. Well, it, they were being served, I think. Okay. So it wasn't a line. I don't know when you stopped being part of the line. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, right. have to wait more <laughs> than 10 split seconds. Split hairs. Are you in, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, out of here. Yeah. But, right, this sucks. So I will say that their, <laughs> their, um, their little uh, you know, can growler fill uh, shop in Four Point is no bigger than this room. It's about – it's half as wide and twice yeah. as long. But it is not – at least where you can be as a public, you know, and you public. can't you can't taste the beer. No tasting, which is crazy. Three, it is. No, what? Well, and and, and I, based on the size, I can understand why. Yeah, that's true. There is literally enough room. I feel like I need to come up with something that only takes ten seconds to say, like every minute. <laughs> that's yeah, that's, 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 yeah. and fill that's the two dead air down. We need to fill the dead air there. Yeah. So <laughs> it's literally big enough to have two lines of people. Basically, they have one line for cans. And one line for growlers and cans because growlers take longer to fill. But you, of. but you can separate. So yeah. It, so the, the the can line. If you yeah. just want cans, yeah. you go in. Okay. You I'm you pick it. out what you want. Uh, they do let you mix four packs, which I do enjoy, especially when I'm doing you know like a trading sort of scenario here. Uh oh, uh oh, Ben <laughs> made way too. <laughs> yeah, top that off. I mean, ben, you don't finish the square. I. I you don't uh, so no, so for, for those listening ben just did a hefty squeeze on one of the mad hops things into his maybe four ounce pour of <laughs> i thought it, it went was, black it does not squeeze like a mio where you Wait. have to like push it to no. break that seal Why? so are you did you just is that the table beer in there no no okay. that's the high life I, but i didn't i didn't uh, put all of it in there can you but can, i wonder what i want a stout uh, table beer yeah I can see the color in that Ugh. pale it's it's definitely twice as dark as yeah, it should be yeah, oh yeah also, it feels good to burp. I want to commentate on my my first experience with this. It feels great to burp. Just tossing it out there. Oh, the the burps are key. I told mm -hmm. you, bur the burp is the is the way to win this game. You could do this for ten hours. But if we're all winners, though, right? It's we're, it's a team game, huh? Well, but un unless somebody loses, <laughs> and when there can definitely be it's, a loser. it's co op until someone and loses. when somebody loses, everybody loses. <laughs> oh, typically, my word. We have, yeah. typically, Jesus. How do I? I can't find out who anyway, but um, so, so yes. about Trillium. Yeah, so you went to the you can't, the brewery or well, the, it's the it's, canning. it's it's there. They don't brew there. No, they brew in Canton, Mass. Yes, I've not been there. I want to go. Looks cool. Um, so it's just a retail retail operation only, and and again, it's it's because it's tiny. If Did, people camped out there, nobody else would get in. Was that thirty seconds? Um, what about like? Do they have like merch and, and that sort of stuff there? Is it literally they, just like they had glassware line. for sale, um, which looked really cool, but I, I felt rushed. Even though there was like one guy behind me, it, it, you're you're sort of you're so tight in there, and there's one guy who just stands there, and so and, so, and add you know tells you what the rules are. But are you like that everywhere else though? Like you kind of feel rushed to like just get out of the way. Like you don't want to be I, in the way. I because, guess I mean this, you you have a retail background though, so you like this, I but, know like I have the same when I used to work. I'm like all right, let's get the line moving here. So I feel I don't want to be in the way. The thing is, 
all they do is to go sales. And so I feel like that rushes you more. Like I've never been anywhere else where I haven't been able to at least get like a four, three or four ounce yep. sample and like, oh, let me, let me try a few of them and decide what I want to buy. Like, so no, I've never felt rushed like this, but okay. I'm not going to say they were rushing me. It no, just, no, no, no. But you can this is it. all internal, wow. but yeah. I'm, I may, I rushed myself. I was rushing myself kind of a thing just based on the situation. Now, is this a Massachusetts law? Because I remember this was Treehouse. Yes, I was just going to say. So when uh, two, I'll say now two tree houses ago when they were in Munson and now they're in, um, no, when they were in a different town before Munson, it was the actual tree house and you could only go there and you could only get growlers to go. That was it. Couldn't taste anything. So when my, when Rick Brews, shout out to Rick Brews again for the Oban, but Rick Brews on uh, Untapped, when we went there for the first time, it was weird like committing to, I mean, we obviously the line, you, you, hopefully by the line, you can tell that if the beer's going to be good, but I'm getting this, these two growlers of beers I've never tasted. I don't know that's if they're good. And that's it's a big a commitment, commitment too. Yeah. And it sort of goes counter to the original, no taste. No taste. the original New Hampshire nano brewery law. They were only allowed to serve you a four ounce serving of each one of their lines that were pouring right. as a, as a sample to then buy a growler to go like they they built that part in that nobody's going to want to buy stuff right. that they haven't tried but is it is it relative to food like it is in new hampshire is it like you have i don't to, know about that yeah. but then I, but I can think, you say what's different about treehouse then and treehouse now do you can you tell yeah it was well the then the treehouse now like the new one in uh charlton you can get pours and like stand on the side and like drink but you, I don't know if they had a, if you could or if if Treehouse wanted to do that where they were before this, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just saying the Power Man 5000 uh, beacon went up and <laughs> and Momo jumps. Yeah. On. <laughs> oh, he, I knew it. He heard it. No, so I I, I don't know if uh, legally Treehouse could have done full pours at their at where they were now. I mean, there's no, there was no space well, at their at their in their months in place but there is now i think that's i think that's your answer because the next stop we went to after uh after buying the cans Here's your answer was um trillium has a sort of a pop-up i guess we'll call it a pop-up beer garden for the summer in the rose kennedy greenway okay the green kennedy roseway yes if you want to do it that way um where you can buy full pours they do 12 they do 12 ounce pours uh of everything is their standard pour 10 of some of the special stuff and they serve no food and they they do nothing else it's literally uh, an area essentially that's been fenced in in a park with uh, a trailer with 12 beer taps i wonder how they can do that it must be like a food truck license well, kind of so they're with a restaurant they are if you check out their website they have a special website for it which we can put in the show notes yeah. it's like the, Let's talk the, the, the trillium uh beer garden they're in a partnership with the Rose Kennedy Greenway like association. So I think, I don't know, part of the mandate around that may be to allow special events and mm -hmm. other things like that. And it is a, um, it's like an all summer long thing. So it, it, it's, it was, it was quite cool. Uh, we got there at just after, um, just after four, I gave uh, Ben some of my beer. So is that a to, power move right no, there? <laughs> I gave Ben some of my beer so he didn't die drinking the Mad Hops. So I, I was short on my shot here. My one fear with this before you get back into that is we have a video proof of us drinking every minute. And if one of us didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like if like the bell goes off and we just didn't do anything. That's my fear. Which starts to happen later. I mean, I have, I have a couple <laughs> fears. That's one of them. The other's opossums. But uh, you were saying about Trillium? So yeah, the uh, oh pretty good though, right? Yep, yep. yep outdoor yep. beer garden. Uh, I'm doing okay, guys. It's super <laughs> awesome. Uh, there was a little That's bit of line to get in. Jeez, Brian's already drunk. Brian's not at all. <laughs> Brian, good. This oh. is going to be a power half hour oh. for Brian, I think. Uh, no, it's just, just first. Of all, this is my house. Fits you know a couple hundred people. Uh, they got some communal tables, uh, a lot like the ones at Notch Brewing that we sit on big wide benches, big any, wide tables. Any cover at all, or is it uh, no cover? So if it's raining, if it's raining, they probably don't open. Okay, gotcha. Um, they got a little uh, porta potty area in the back, uh, but you know no food, no uh, you know no specialty food trucks attached or anything. It's just whatever you want. I assume you could bring food. I didn't see anybody stopping anybody. I mean, because right up the, I mean, there should be food trucks at the end of that greenway anyway. Aren't there usually some like during the week at lunchtime? There's food trucks right oh, okay. out in so front it, of the feds. Not um, every day, but I don't I don't know about every day. I'm I'm actually barely there on Saturdays, but. Uh, they do also highly advertise the um, the beer garden at the retail shop. Be okay. like, oh, there was actually uh, three or four people in line in front of us 
who didn't know the rules and when they were told they couldn't get beer but they had to walk five minutes to go get it they literally just left and went they 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 weren't interested in cans or anything they got out of line and Mm -hmm. and got there so um i think it's tough for trillium to have to split that you know market it correctly and and sort of split the operation but they're doing it well um and obviously in the winter though you don't have a choice because they're you're not standing outside on the greenway right in in the winter Um, what i'm yeah, we no, I was just gonna say, hot tip for anybody who's uh, listening or in the chat right now, live. It's kind of coaster for um, your fucking. Speaking of thing here, huh? Danky uh, IPAs. Nature's Way in South Berwick yesterday had Foundation uh, Epiphany and Sip of Sunshine. So Foundation Sip of Sunshine was there. Foundations Foundations Ship. Of, ship. It's no, it's it's, it's the extract. Is the extract? <laughs> that, that. Well, me saying that on an audio podcast doesn't do any good for me, <laughs> or, or for you, I guess. No, uh, but uh, no that, kidding. That's something that, that I hadn't seen there before. Oh, Nature's Way is the best. Yes. Yeah. Um, did you guys hear about that? I don't think we talked about it at all. But the the Iceland uh, tr- uh, rail car that they brought from Portland over to Iceland. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or that no. or cargo. What do you call it? A cargo box or whatever. Yeah, they call the Portland beer box. Container. Oh, like a shipping container. Yeah. So oh, okay. Yeah. And so they they loaded it up with with uh, a bunch of different brew uh, beers from from Portland and f- dro- uh, drove it, boated it over to Iceland, no. drove a boat, and uh, doesn't work. But uh, then they, on its return trip, they had the were you at the beer fest up in Portland? Was I? Mm-hmm. No. So at, at the Portland beer fest a couple weeks ago. It was a. It was now loaded with Iceland beer. Oh, so that's all. That, yeah. Talk about an ultimate beer trade. Like totally. Yeah. Shipping my eight oh, bottle shipper. But it, seems but it, inconsequential. The, the shipping but it cost was, was twenty two grand. It was, it was it fitted. It was fitted cheap. with draft lines. Like they just here's the thing, and it has kegs up on it. it oh, was, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, there's some pictures from uh, Active Beer Geek, friend of the show, uh, friend of beer, and uh, check it out. Cool. So after we went to Trillium, we went to Night Shift. Oh, yes. Which you uh, been on the new one? We. End of the new one, yeah. Yeah. So I had not next to the Teddy, I, the, still right next to the Teddy peanut butter. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I had not been to the new one. I actually, uh, I think I might have mentioned my first experience with Night Shift was at Night of the Funk, like okay. five years, six years ago now, like God knows when. Three, and two, I just filled this, so uh, it's you got to you got to get on it. It's this is why you. <laughs> Did you take a minute to just tell us it's about Phil. Night Shift? Sip Phil, sip Phil. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. <laughs> I can get there one of Ben Watts' stories, this whole thing. Yeah. Um, but so I had not this been to the new one, uh, and we, we definitely wanted to go to pick up some cans again to uh, augment the uh, the share going out to San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, awesome location. Uh, I was I was reading about it a bit online. They have expanded since they originally got there about like a year ago or a, less than a year ago. Added that 1,800-square-foot uh, side room, more bathrooms, um, and an outdoor seating. patio. Yeah, like – plenty of seating okay, yeah because there's another like another side room that that was added yeah. on well after and then That's they've cool. they expanded the patio so now the patio literally covers two sides of the brewery nearly and um when we got there they had the uh the chubby chickpea food truck uh we missed the barbecue truck by about two hours are you telling me there was falafel there uh, we, no, we, I think we when, had falafel when we were there was an indian there was an indian food truck there if i oh, remember man. that correctly yes yeah, but that's nice. And it's not terribly hard to find parking there. We went at a pretty busy time. It was like 6, 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. And it, or it, a Monday. And it's Yeah, it's fine. And it's just, just you, you're going to have to walk some way because there's uh, there's enough, there's parking on the side of the street. Yeah. Yeah. Going, yeah. We parked right out in front on the street. We, like, we just lucked out. Yeah, yeah, somebody had that, like pulled that, away. I was afraid to. I was like, why, why is nobody parked here? And there was a cop like up ahead. I'm like, oh, this is, I, <laughs> I'm riding a toad. What am I doing let's wrong? do it. Uh, and then up right up the road is uh, Sky Zone, the trampoline park. Mm. Big fan. Yeah, never been. Never been. Get in there. Yeah, no, it's trampolines now. We're going there right after this. Oh, all right. Ooh, yeah. That's going to be so, – we're probably not going to get let in. Yeah. <laughs> let's, um, let's talk broken ankles. <laughs> yeah, let's talk broken which, bones and throw no, ups. What's your insurance policy? <laughs> I've, I've, got, I've got great insurance. All right, so uh, – You put the basketball What beers did you have there? Uh, oh, hold on. we got to get our shot. I had a Miller Lite. This, by the way – is uh, foul and disgusting. There's no way to make this any better. I would. Take He's referring to the the Mad Hop squirts. I would take it just the High Life as it is is better than than this. High Life is the champagne of beers. And it's weird. It's it's just such a weird thing because they. I want to know what beer they tried all of these with. Was it like only PBR? Like what was their base? Like okay, it'll make a PBR taste better, quote unquote. 
but we never tried it with high well, before. What, what's a what's a cheap? I mean, it's it's kind of weird going like flavoring a lager with an ale. Uh, flavor isn't that kind no, of no, strange? Exactly. So, right. So do you do that with a stout? Can you make a stout an ale? With essentially, a, right? a pale stout. You're, you're, yeah. Your lager's now a stout. Uh, Eureka. Basically, the way I feel like <laughs> they must have done this is we're we're just going to use the base beer as the liquid, uh, you know, that we add the flavor to. Like I don't think they're expecting a lot of flavor coming out of this. The, all the flavor they want is to come out of this this little bottle, and they just need a, a liquid carrier. Right, uh, right. Can, gentlemen, That's we're, we're, we're half, halfway through. Just to let oh, you know, amazing. What oh, you know? Shit. What what if we do? What if we were to put a, a couple squirts of that in water? I like that would actually be more. That's inter- a good test. That would be like more interesting. Seltzer water. We see. You yeah, still have the carbonation. You need the carbonation. Well, we, listen. This house is normally stocked with seltzer. I'm out of seltzer. Currently, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I almost. I have lime. Well, what about, what about what about so? Wouldn't soda water? Isn't seltzer the one with quinine in it? Do you want? No, or, or do we tonic want? Oh, no, no, oh, that's tonic. No, is quinine okay. in the Wu Tang Clan, or is that a different? <laughs> how do you? That's pretty you, good, though. <laughs> just pull the. It, I want to bring. Literally, the, just pull the plug. <laughs> yeah, there's a two man throw switch back yeah, there. Yeah, there's there's the emergency <laughs> lever. Quinine's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> back to what you asked me, though. Uh, I will say, I hate myself. at uh, Night Shift, I had to look at Untapped uh, yeah. to see what I had. Uh, I had their Funk Renegade, which was Sweet. an uh, all Brett pale ale. Uh, it was good, but very, Three, very subdued. Two, like, no no bold five. flavors uh, anywhere. I mean, I definitely knew it was it was Brett fermented, but it wasn't, like, super funk or anything. When you want to, can you put one of these right up in front of the beer there? Just to like, can I can I finish talking first? Oh, I thought you were getting ready to. <laughs> I thought you were finished. No, I had. You oh, asked, you, oh, you just started. You asked me what beers I had. I need to go <laughs> into the cooler to get more beer. Hold on, the cooler. We're gonna probably need to send somebody downstairs into the fridge because we have. Oh, uh, this, I, this and the assistant, the, the assistant that's behind the drum are, set. Will, are you gonna need a Miller? Soon? Where's our intern? Uh, I know we gotta get one. Uh, Fiverr. No wait, Task Rabbit. <laughs> we need a, we need an assistant only for an hour whenever we say we need him. Uh, after that, uh, five bucks. I tried the El Lechador, which was a milk stout. Shout out to Ben Watts on the on the comments. Yep. Not sure. Oh, I, I'm not sure what it was yeah. in reference to me shutting you down. It, I think. It's time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Turn Brian's mic off. Damn it. Brian controls the mic. I don't so know. What that's the. About. <laughs> Three, two, uh, one. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pour this. See, I told so I told you how like it gets quick. But like very quick. I, I think I think that just screwed. With, that was five seconds. So. I, it feels fast to me, even. Also, as can well. the web speed up time? That's a conversation for another time. Um, El Lechador, which is a milk stout with cinnamon right. and poblano peppers. How was that? Hmm. Because poblano, was, p- p- uh, poblano is more like you taste pepper. It's not hot though, right? Uh, well, yeah. So I wasn't sure at first because uh, Ashley actually is the one that got it, and I just sampled it. It was a cinnamon bomb, though. It was a lot of cinnamon, but it wasn't in a bad way. Like it wasn't like these normal, like you know, pumpkiny, gross cinnamon. Okay, it's things. hard to do cinnamon subtle, though. It's a real it, and it, especially yeah. in, it's just bold and in beer. I was I was like joked with the the bartender. She's like, yeah, that's an eight. It's an eight ounce pour. They serve that. I'm like, I don't want more than eight ounces. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, yeah, I know you. This it's like a dessert kind of beer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, have it with like pumpkin pie or something. Three, um, two, one. I had morph. Mm-hmm. Morph Batch 52, which is their you know rotating yeah. um, IPA, and they put chain every change. they put every version of that on Untapped. What do you feel about that, real quick? Versions and years of like I mean, years is fine, but like every time. Well, no. Ver- so ver- if you if you've got a rotating uh, beer, you know, like Morph, where literally they're, they're changing up the hops. So you, you abs- don't mind that on Untapped? Oh, absolutely, okay. okay. absolutely. Put that on Untapped. Okay. Um, you know, I know what was the what was the. Single hop series that the pea brew did. I want uh, to say it was on harvest. On, Wait, no, 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 no. That's the wet hop one. No. When I think it was when Tyler took over, they were doing uh, Project X. Project X. Project X. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely, they're they're totally different beers, right. you know. And so that's why I am one hundred percent for it, and and definitely vintages. Like I mean, v- vintage I'm fine with. Well, don't I, do. You're not going to do vintage as a high life, like because uh, it's the same. Did you have this one in? 2000, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know, definitely something like Kate the Great. Let's be an extreme example. I'm totally fine with the years. That's a totally different beer year to year. I, I just, and I know I know the beers are different, but it also clogs untapped. But I guess it's up to the brewery whether they want to clog their list with bi-weekly beers, I guess. I don't know. What I would like is untapped to add functionality. Where, In general? Oh. <laughs> no, well, they. I would think they've done a great job of adding stuff. Oh, other than totally. The fact you have to they're, pay they're, for stuff. They're, but their updates when they're, when they're big, like, 
or when they're like the point zero updates. Yep. Perfect. I think that they should add like ability to sort of nest beers. Like, all right, I'm gonna pull up. Um, nice. I'm gonna pull up Kate the Great. Yeah, and then here's all the different drop var- different varietals. Greg, I think I'm, that. I'm, I'm, Let's let's yep. get that. We're gonna get our PR department to reach out to their PR Greg, department. I'll, I'll friend of the show. He's on. He's on the secret for that podcast. We'll get him. All right. Let's yeah, get. I'm it. calling him right now. Hold on. I'll get. I'll get, get with him on the marketing. Horn. I'll get with our marketing team after this and have them reach out. It's all these guys. <laughs> our marketing team. Uh, Kathy Three, in the comments says two, also one. the ale into lager thing as far as uh, this Mad Hops goes was on her mind as well. Oh. And she works for Bad Labs Brewery, so. There's a sticker right up front here. Yep, you can see it plainly. And by the way, if anybody else from breweries is listening, we need more swag for the swag area. I almost want to extend this top. Oh, yeah, like, no, we're, we'll put shelves in. Yeah. You, and if you send us the better stuff you send us, the so, better position it gets. Wait, so send us shelves and then send us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, let's not talk the shelf space debate now. Let's not wait, have. Wait, wait, let's not talk. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but yeah, I. Uh, it's tough because I have only so much real estate to deal with here. And I also want to get Jeff in on the thing. Minus the side leg. So, yeah, I think we're doing good. And I got the on-air sign up, put on the wall. I like that a lot. It looks oh, like it, it I, looks I, like it's actually I there. I just realized, I was like, there's there's no on-air sign but up also, there. But also, if you switch over to this guy, news is a new on-air sign right there. Oh, wow. So. Did you pay for this piece of software? Is this a purchase no, thing? Free. Why? Free? It's free work? Yep, I made it myself. I, <laughs> it was a fever. I woke up in a fever dream and just I had the software made. <laughs> That's a great screen screen grab for uh, for the podcast. If you just <laughs> it, it's no, it's a gif of me trying to find it, <laughs> which I, it should be right there, but it's not. Oh, maybe, maybe maybe we'll get a real on air sign. So next. I know, they're expensive. Also, if anybody's listening and you want to go on Amazon and find that on air sign, yeah, yeah, because um, we have so many people barging <laughs> in here during the podcast that we need to we need to have a light yeah, outside. I, I'm just, the on air sign supposed to be outside <laughs> yeah. the room. Why is my hand behind it? <laughs> uh, that's magic. No, but uh, yeah, it's called OBS. Is what we do for uh, for this for this software. We can put images all over it, like the uh, little bit of a that action. This is great for audio podcast, by the way. Let's get back into the audio stuff. Uh, <laughs> any other uh, beers you had there besides the morph? You must have had tons. Uh, no, so I had the, I had the two. I had the the Funk Renegade, and then I had the Morph Fifty Two. We just did two each. I don't. I didn't try the other one. That oh, I did try them that Ashley had, which was it was a Berliner Weiss. It was one of their it's number thirty seven fruited Berliner Weisses. By the way, do you want to talk about the pizza story or no? Uh, wait, I, I want to uh, no, know. I, no, I mean I'll, I'll mention the the place. I, I don't really need to tell that story. That's though. fine. Right. Yeah, that's an after show, which we're not going to have. No, definitely not. This is, uh, this is basically a living after. What do you got? I wanted to know what you thought of the experience there at night shift. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. Um, so obviously having my previous experience was there, you know, um, warehouse from hostel like previous location where you thought you were going to die <laughs> yeah. to start. I yeah. didn't feel like I was going to die, <laughs> which is the, the way you want to be when you go to a brewery. Right. Um, I, you know, I, I thought that it was, I, I thought it was great. They, you know, it was well laid out. It wasn't like one of those complicated places where you've got to, you know, there's a soup Nazi line and procedures that you've got to go right. through. Yep. Staff was friendly and helpful. Wow. Um, uh, dog friendly, which I mean, I don't have a dog yet, but it's, I just, I liked everything about it. So I must have been inside. Inside it was dog friendly. There were dogs outside. Gotcha. Gotcha. I won't speak to the inside. So it's a a notch. I I think they, yeah, I think there was, there may have been a, a, a a private entrance for the canine friends. Um, I'm, I'm assuming then that because I haven't heard anything but good things from everybody else, but I'm assuming my experience must have just been a one-off with poor you know, yeah. was more, it just more employee service? Was just, when I was there with you, yeah, yeah, like at the I, like I, at I the remember, bar mm-hmm. or just walking around, yeah, just at the bar. I remember you texted me. The guy was like, I remember you texted me later that night, being like, it wasn't the best. I'm like, like I, I, I was putting him it. out because he had to pour me beers. Were they were they busy or no, like it no, wasn't like they terribly busy wow, at all? No, I mean I it, it was walk like, right up to the counter and the guys there. Man, you know, I mean I let's put it this way: I've had way more friendly bartenders, but I I've. These no these people weren't unfriendly yeah. in any way, shape, or form. Why? No, I think it, it it had to have been uh, just a simple a simple one off. Because and, and I have a, a really high tolerance for bad service. And I'd be like, oh, you know, they're probably, you know, you never know who's having a bad day or for what reason. Definitely, and, I, and I'm you know pretty forgiving of that yeah. that kind of thing. So it's not, not going to stop me but, from going so, back. Uh, yeah. My one thing that I will add that sort of creeps me out, and we are going to need to get some more beer, I think, because we yeah. have this and one more, is. 
when they first started, I, I got a growler at their original location. They don't do growlers anymore. That's true. They just like, do how can, do you can just, sales, yeah, bottles. How do you just suddenly wait, stop? Wait, wait, wait. I thought they do growlers now. No, I, I heard they don't. I didn't mm. I, I didn't would, see anything. He, I didn't either. So that's good. I, yeah, but I thought for some reason there was a the, the pricing structure had growler fills or was it just oh, cans. You know, and, you know, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna pull it up here, but because yeah. uh, I don't, I do not want to misrepresent them because I, I night shift <laughs> is one of my favorite breweries. Oh yeah, you got the burp out. Got it. Oh, oh it yeah, was a burp, it was a burp cough Three, burp. Isn't that two, isn't that the best? One. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta fill my gotta fill my glass So uh, here. for those that aren't paying attention to the video, we this is our 40th, so we have 20 more, I guess. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. So let me let me pull up and see. But I'm pretty sure I heard that they did not do um, growlers anymore, hmm. and which kind of kind of bothered me. Which again, I'm not like a they super. Have, I'm not a big growler to. guy. Neither am I. But they have to. Uh, and but I, I mean, I have an original night shift growler, which which I think is cool. That is, you know, I guess you can't get them anymore or something. Yeah. Um, but let's see, tap room on tap. Uh, can draft, can draft, can draft. Nothing lists okay. Yeah, All right. which I, I remember. Like I remember reading something about it, and I just thought that was super odd. Like I get it if you you never maybe done maybe you never you know you never done growlers. Fine, you don't want to do growlers. You want to do can fills because um, great rhythm doesn't do growlers. That's true too. Yeah, but but I, but I, why, how do you three, suddenly stop? Two, how do you suddenly one. stop doing growlers? I'll tell you why. After this, after shot forty one, <laughs> find out after this. I feel like it's got to be. It's got to be just like the, the the landscape. It's just changing. Well, that well that too. But I also think it's also time. Like the, if you go to Treehouse or if you go to Trillium, here's your cans. Here's your cans. You know, yeah. Like oh, for you mean for to, customers to, to like take, turnover? Yep. That it takes to fill here, a growler. Here's, here's, here's have you your been cans. to Hill Farmstead. What's that? Have you been to Hill Farmstead? The, what did they do it quick? Like no, NASCAR? No, okay. no. It's but that's why there's they, part they of why there's a lot. So they, yeah, they, I mean they have it right. very efficiently set up, but it still takes you know. So I I, th I think it's it's the time to fill to fill growlers versus the amount of customers you have. Where if you're in, if, if you're in a treehouse line, yes, they'll start filling the growlers beforehand, while, before they even open, because they'll take your growler and fill it up. But uh, especially for beers like that, and the first experience I ever had with slow growlers was Blue Lobster, because they had those very like a very efficient draft lines that took like. Like you could dial in the CO two, it took forever to fill a growler. So I wonder if it's just like, ah, we don't know, we don't want to do it. But also, I mean, uh, the Garrison City had a growler; they don't anymore because they don't even do they don't do growlers anymore because they it was just, they just do cans. They don't, even do, do cans. they don't do growlers either. No, nope. I didn't know that. They sent their growler to Notch, I think. Oh, I think you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. Or I know Backyard has a growler. So that'll add another piece. I'll throw another dimension to this conversation: the pre-filled growler. Okay. We well, saw it at Tributary last week. Yep, I know there's places that do pre-filled growlers. Well, how do you feel about the pre-filled growler? I'm okay with that as long as they can sell those. Because, yeah, go. No, I was going to say the the um, the feeling that I get generally on growlers is that is that breweries are very protective of their growlers and what goes into them and how it's treated and things like that. You know, yeah. this whole uh, the whole growler argument. You know, we talked about it. Last time we were all here about, you know, um, using different growlers and unmarked growlers and things like that. I don't think a brewery who who is going to offer pre-filled growlers is going to sell you a growler that's soon to be expired or on its last so, legs. Yes. So well, do, you, do you base it on the on the reputation of the brewery? I think we absolutely. actually commented at, um, at Tributary, they do the pre-filled growlers thing, well, but it's Todd. So it's right. going to be, it's going to be right. Right. Um, we so I wanted to ask you though, uh, but I also kind of answered my own question. When you were at Trillium, it's I imagine they I wanted to ask if they sold pre-filled growlers, but they probably don't because people might go there only once, get a growler and never come back. Meaning they're going to keep buying that glass and no one's ever going to return it. Yeah, kind of I, thing, I so. honestly I was again uh, rushing myself through that I didn't look at the growler operation and no, that's, it, I honestly I mean, didn't not, see you I, don't consider because you're not a growler guy, which you well, shouldn't. I mean, I, I didn't see anybody actually order any either. It was cans, and they had an entire wall. You know why? Of cans. And they put them on Instagram and well, take they're, a yeah, because they're 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 muling them for people too. Like they're sending them, like like me. I guess I shouldn't shouldn't talk. I was there. Obviously, you know, half of the stuff I bought is mine, but the other half is going to go across the country. Mm -hmm. Speaking of other half, uh, Frost DDG on, in, on Untapped and Instagram fame went to other half this past week. Said it was great. Oh, out there, yeah. NYC, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did uh, New York. Right. Dropped his son off at college, huh? Man. Call it. Hey. College, huh? 
Uh, so I was, Bare, barely remember it. No, I was, I was talking about I was talking about yesterday, and when I went to or I, I went to uh, college in Boston, and the orientation was, okay, parents, you can do one of two things: take your kids on the Freedom Trail or take your kids to Sam Adams. So my mom took me to the Freedom Trail, and Rick Bruce went to Sam Adams. You were so you were eighteen. Like, I was, yeah, I was eighteen. I, but it was like, what were you gonna do with Sam Adams? No idea. But it, but it, but all the dads went on a school bus to Sam Adams, and my mom and I walked the Freedom Trail, which is great, by the way. I mean, it's all, I no, you know, no all, the all I know about the Freedom Trail is some of the houses you go in have really have, have short ceilings and stuff because people were short <laughs> no, no, back no. then. <laughs> that, uh, that's a different trail. When I, yeah. I'm not gonna bring up. Um, you had the freedom to put your ceilings at any height. No, you that wanted. was like you were like the John Adams house, and John Adams was like four foot eleven. <laughs> Wikipedia that right now. How tall is John Adams? Look it up right now. We have been on the on the keys. Are you doubting me? I'm, if John Adams was four eleven, my name's Miles Davis. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but yes, how old is how old he? He's five seven. All right, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I that is nine inch. Wait, anyway, That's a short. That's a short man i am it, it so, is short people guy. were short 5 7 people is short, short yeah, yeah, yeah. 5 7 is short <laughs> jesus so uh jeff brought up a good point off camera that we were supposed to be talking about portsmouth but it doesn't matter we'll talk about it some other time maybe over a <laughs> let's talk uh, bourbon <laughs> well it'll be a short conversation Absolutely. probably but, but i i do have some uh, do you guys have anything to talk about i got some one off questions we can kind of go no, through and uh, no you're in the you, comments why? brenda brenda bruises uh, putting her stamp of approval on the freedom trail though oh we talked about it yesterday <laughs> it's true <laughs> I almost forgot to take my shot. Get here. I was ben, distracted. You get to see Ben Franklin's parents' graves, so it's, that's worth your money, which is free. Dumb On a side trail. note, though, about Portsmouth, which we were going to talk about, we do have signers of the Declaration like of Independence. Dumb trail. What's that? Say it again. We have signers of the Declaration of Independence buried in Portsmouth, which we were going to talk about. So yeah, wait, we've wait. we've talked about it now. We Do can you, move on. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, so I, I just wrote some like questions that we can bring and talk about whatever we, we have 15 more shots to go, AKA 15 more minutes left in this podcast. Um, I don't know if hmm, here's a couple of them, uh, man. Yeah, sure. We'll start with this one. <laughs> can you not read your writing no, anymore? We're well, only 45 I, I, minutes I, in. I didn't put them in order. Uh, so if you could have a beer with someone living or dead at a bar, doesn't matter what bar, who would it be? Who would you share a beer with that if, if you could? I'm going to let Ben answer first. Oh, I have to take my shot. Yeah. I, it, I mean, that's a tough one. It that's is. a tough one. Living or dead? Maybe it has to be beer? Have, have a drink with maybe, that. Maybe it would be fun to like drink yeah. with Hemingway in, in, like a, in, like a, in like a Miami or bar or like a Cuban bar. That'd be cool. Like that. uh, yeah, and... Uh, my, mine is more like a who would I hang out with anyway, but it would still be over a beer. It would be Chris Farley for sure. I want to oh, have yeah. like many beers with him. Yep. But it's just, it's not as, not as uh, educational as Hemingway. <laughs> I'm going to warn Ashley if she's listening to this. Start rolling your eyes now before I give my answer. Uh, we, got, we, had a, we got a comment in Bill, there. Yeah. Someone said Bill Belichick. Oh, so well, he, I mean, that's, that's, that's very are I, are I possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine would be Neil Armstrong. All right. Uh, those of you that know me know I'm sort of a space nut, yeah. and I well, want. I want to send me the. I want a picture of your space. Show. It's not done yet, by I the way. I think he's a funny guy too. He's dead. Was was a, you know he said <laughs> no, no, was, was this is yeah. his biggest joke. Ben Ben just said, "Let me finish under his breath." Um, he's not. Dead. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. No, no, no. But I think I think he had a lot of. Uh, I think he was like. A, not known for being a funny person, but I think he yeah because he I could be he serious yeah yeah but that's that'd be that'd be but yeah no rad. I just I just wanted like I mean when you Man. think about like yeah, yeah let's let's go to the moon it's two hundred fifty thousand miles Imagine. away yeah I'll do it I want to I'll wanna, go yeah I want to <laughs> join in on like the seventh beer to see what you guys are still talking about like oh yeah I was on the moon <laughs> <laughs> yeah like how do you how do you top that like, you how do you you don't how do you top that fuck you, you deniers oh, cool. uh, no I did walk on the moon though. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse ever, me, Mr. Ever, ever heard of moon shoes? My shoes were on the moon. Dad, I got an A plus on my test. Oh, that's cool. Uh, walked on the moon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, am I on your tech, your textbook? It's it's, it's got to be what the greatest human achievement ever. Putting a man on the moon is the greatest human achievement. Oh, you're talking to the wrong person for this, but are you kidding me? What do you, what do you think is the greatest human achievement? You're, ever? Talk, you're talking to the wrong person about that conversation, and then we'll have we'll have that some other time <laughs> after <laughs> show. This is not anyway. <laughs> All right. What what's your next question there? Yeah, exactly. Mr. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Host. <laughs> um, so my next question is so 
what advice would you give to a friend who wants to get into beer? They see all these uh, our, our pictures, our podcasts. So they're not necessarily into beer, but like, what would you? What advice would you give them to like? Here's where you start. All right. So uh, I, I want to be clear. We're talking about somebody that's getting into this craft, enjoying beer. craft. We're not sure. talking about somebody's getting into owning a brewery. Because my no, advice no, 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 would no. be don't. No, no. The, so <laughs> too so, late. Yeah. So well, no. So but, no, no. So hold on. The, okay. The, so this question was tweaked and asked to brewers during the Secrets Beverage Lab podcast, where we would ask them what advice would you give to someone who wanted to start a brewery. What, what okay. advice would you Three, give to someone who want to like try two, beer for the first time, or, or try craft beer? My first advice: don't stray far from home. There's probably Ooh. a brewery really close that may not be world class and known by every beer geek everywhere. Okay, but there's good beer being made everywhere, and this it's bad beer close this to ba- you. This that's bad a, beer being made close to you too. I wouldn't have thought about that. That's a, but that's go a good find the, go find the good close one and stick to it. Great answer. I mean, that yeah. I think. Uh, some of it too has to like somebody who's not into beer. You, you kind of have to like dial in. You know, you see a lot of good um, bartenders who ask like, "What do you like?" You know, like, where 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 can I recommend something that will fit into your wheelhouse? And I like that because it's yeah. so varied. Like my wife, when she started uh, drinking beer, only would drink lambics and sours. And, and well, that's a tough life. Man, get in there, <laughs> right? I know. So Jeez. it was like super fun to to to. To yeah. be able to to share that kind of thing, but a lot of people evidently seem to find IPAs as, as, no. as well, the well, well, so, yeah. What do you got? What do you got? Let's take. Well, I was, I was going to say that goes back to the people that say they don't like beer. I was like, just, people who don't like beer haven't had the right beer. Just like, but they also we, we can talk about your Oban sitting right there. I don't like. Sing, I say this actually. I don't like single malt scotches, but I also prep or. or not preface post face that with I haven't found the right one for me yet. So th- I, I was told going back to this real quick. I heard I, I was told this is not that peaty. It depends on where, good because I don't like peat. Right. So peat, but it could be on one end of the of peat and or like it could be a little bit. But there's yeah. some that are like whoa. Which it's same, so it's the same thing with beer. Like especially nowadays where you've got breweries that like don't give a, a damn about style anymore. Like, Oh, we're just going to make, we're going to make this. And it's, it's kind of a, this, or it's kind of a, that a hybrid of all this. Yeah, I won't like, mention a beer brewery. I'm thinking of, well, no, always, I'm talking in a good way. Which is always a brewery. I'm, thinking I'm talking of. in a good way. Yeah, no, 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 I'm no, talking gotcha. in a good way gotcha. is Three, if you don't like beer, you just haven't one. found the right one yet. It's 52. Probably. Oh, wow. That's, this is great. So my advice, so it, it's tough too because a lot of when I used to, I used to pour, uh, whoop, I get a, uh, I used to pour beers at the Sheridan uh, for for guests that come. Like I did tasters of local beers and stuff. And the the biggest comment I've I've got like, oh, what kind of beer do you like? Their response was, I usually drink Bud Light, which is fine, but I don't want they the perception of craft beer is bitterness. They don't like it's the like, IPAs off the bat, right? So you have to try to find something that's that's not that. So I've kind of got them the other way, but I it's it's kind of even the New England IPAs. I don't find that bitter. They're hazy, they're juicy well, and yeah. sweet, oh, no, we, but we, they're not IPAs the way that I that I grew up with, quote unquote. I mean, the way that I was introduced to IPAs where it was like a, an IP double IPA. Like, oh yeah, it was it was basically it was like let's chew on some hops kind right, of thing. Totally. So I don't know. Uh, one, one of the ones I had at Trillium uh, that I I had. Because Ashley does not like IPAs. Okay. Oh, she doesn't yeah. like the bitterness. Okay. But the, I feel like the bitterness is relative too. Like when you're when you've sure. been like in the into this as long as we have, it's like it like it doesn't come across as bitter. It's a, I'm sure it's the same thing as like hot sauce. You know, it's like this doesn't seem that hot to me, but to you, it's like yeah, totally. burning it's, your face. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You know, your yeah. your own flavor uh, profile, your own palate is is definitely a big thing. But it's an acquired taste, says Rick Bruce. Yeah. So. There was one of the ones we had at uh, Trillium, and I forget which one though. And I literally, I say, I gave it to her because we will at least try each other's beers. And I, was, I always tell her, you won't like it when I give her my IPA because I'm sort of an IPA guy. But then I, I took that back and I was like, wait a minute, this is apple juice or uh, no, orange juice, excuse me, orange juice. And she's like, no, you're right, it is. It was, it was literally looked and tasted orange juicy, and it had that juiciness. And so, I think also the the perceptions about the names matter like again True. ipa yeah. Yeah. all people care about with IPA, oh, it's, it's it's big and bitter and but you're right a lot of times it is but go have a double or a triple that sometimes is more malty in some cases there's a sweetness about it like it's a, a balance and you know what yeah. you need a balanced 
beer. Great it's, comment it's the from Ashley ones. in here too. She says she points out that even though you say she's not going to like it, she will still try it. Every time. Oh, and, absolutely. And so yeah, just like and, she, and, she but drinks also, Belgians, and I try everyone, and I hate those too. Yeah. Also, also don't feel forced to try something. But the the recommendation I would give to a friend wanting to get into craft beer is if you go to a brewery, local or wherever, try the the flight. I mean, it's the Which easiest. Try way everything. To, right. Be, try so, everything. I mean, it, it, it it's. I would say. If you don't know much about beer, it's not cost effective, but it is what it is. Like, get the the palette of beers and try what you want. Some breweries will let you try some, and you and some will let you just try everything, like a little sip of, of whatever. But you'll find what you want. But find the beer that's right for you, Three, and it could be sour, two, it could be one. hoppy. I don't know. So it could be stouts. Like some people like sweet, sweet stouts. And you bring up another idea that I I want to dig into is the trying. Let's take our shot and then we'll talk about it. We're tryhards, is what you're saying for the podcast? No, live for your tryhards. Well, so one of the things is I'll take it. Yesterday at at um, <laughs> at night shift, finger. Ashley actually got two like sips of the uh, the El Lechador and of their Kolsch because she really wasn't sure what they wanted. There, like, yeah, no problem. We give you a taste. What about places that are like like stingy about? No, I'm. I, no, you got to like get a sampler. Like, or you got we 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 have a three or a four ounce pour. You have to buy that. No, it's like, not uh, customer focused. No, no, no. no. Like, exa- uh, breweries I, yeah. will not mm-hmm. at least yeah. let you. You have gallons. You have tens of hundreds of thousands of gallons in some cases. Put an ounce in a glass but, and let me try but, it. But that that kind of goes back to the the thing is the brewery needs to be focused in three, not just convincing two, people to have five. the beer, but also. Allow, allowing them to be educational, like to steal your beer for a second. Yes, like try try these beers. Like you want them to come back, so well, you have to sample correct. Those beers. And I think that we've got too many breweries nowadays that don't Period. care. They they have their their customers are going to show up anyway, right. and, uh, and they just don't I care. Hate it. I hate that though. But but on the other on the same side of that is like they don't see that the ones that are in line just don't give a shit. Like they don't see it, but they don't care. It's, it's the beer, oh, man. I had something too that I want to say, but it's not. It's lost in time. <laughs> oh, it's lost. Oh, so yes. So uh, going off of the same the same question about uh, what you tell your friends that don't uh, that want to get into craft beer, what would be what's your gateway beer? If, oh, if, I love this question. If, if you were to bring uh, you know like a six pack to a party of non craft beer drinkers, knowing that. Oh, all right. So that's that's two no, questions. No, so so, so no, no, what was no, no, mine? No, no. What was mine? No, no, no. So, sh- oh, well, 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 let's do oh, what was mine what first. Was yeah. okay. What was your gateway beer? So for for mine, we, we have a, oh, the ding ding. Did we just fill it up? <laughs> you're, you need to regulate here. You are the referee. I was watching that last one like 15 seconds like, went by. We're like, I was like, 57, by the way. Yeah, we're going to do this. That's fine. So we're doing Power 90? Okay, sounds good. Um, Century Club? We can go to Century Club if you want. I got time. Ashley's probably rolling her eyes already. I got time. <laughs> uh, so my gateway beer um, was Boston Lager. We've talked about it before. I liked it. It, it might be sweet now for some that like mm-hmm. consider I consider beers to be hoppy or like light. But the Boston Lager is a solid gateway beer for me. So I would have said Sierra Pale, but... Uh, mine Go was on. actually Longhammer. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> I was, I, I will. Uh, I was not. I was not into beer uh, or not into uh, bold flavored bitter beers, IPs. None of that. I yeah. I was I was uh, one of those little weenies that what? drinks what? Bud Light and Miller Light. Like I, I was. I swear to God, I was. And I went on a tour at Red Hook. Ten years ago now, Byron. And, Byron. Oh, of course, Byron. I'd never went on a tour. Uh, <laughs> there was one tour I took that wasn't Byron. Totally. Is Byron working? No, okay. no he's, not, he's not working there anymore. Don't don't go to the Red Hook tour anymore because Byron's not there. Uh, they served. Um, we have you know, two more, by the way. They had the uh, the long hammer, and I was like, "This is great." Which, by modern standards, is probably not even an IPA. It's more like a pale ale, like a hoppy pale ale, I guess. What long hammer? Yeah. Oh, man, I could have sent a note to my Red Hook friends right now. <laughs> Dial it up. No, well, well no. I, I, I'm just talking. If you're grading no, on a scale, yeah, 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 no, if you're grading on I'm a right scale, there, it's yeah. not. It's still good though. Right. Um. That was that was mine. I just I was like, ooh, I like this. And then I from there I jumped to um uh bottle rocket at the brewery. That's a Todd Mott special. Yep. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> that's such a great like. Don't for those listening. That's a crazy oh, intro to beer. Wow. It is. Gateways are. That's that, that's if you want a belly flop in a beer. Get in that. For me. He's going to say Hetty Topper, and he's going to leave this house immediately. <laughs> Mike, I don't think he has to take his mic off the stand before he can drop it. So uh, I'm a little older, 
And uh, when I turned 21, it wasn't a whole lot of craft options. But I went to college in New London, and the Flying Goose opened in 1994 or 5. How old were you then? You. How old were you? In 94? In 94, I was 11. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. Um, so, I was, uh, eight. I was eight. Anyway, their barley wine for me oh, wow. was. Mic drop. And right. I thought his was phenomenal. Man, get going. Nice. Um, All, right. All right. So, not. I loved like everything they did there. This is, this is the last one coming up, by the way. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, immediately upon no, like this, this finding, discovering Three, Flying Goose, I was two, like, craft beer is where it's at. You have 16 craft beers on tap, like all, at all times, uh, rotating. And then, and then my best friend from college becomes the brewmaster there. It was like a, just a done, just a done Jeez. deal. But yeah, so like that was a great intro outside of like, you know, Sam Adams was, which was like, yeah, Sierra Nevada. All you could get back then. At the, we're talking about 2000 right now at this point. And, and, and that go, that kind of plays off the different tastes where I want to, I, Mike Meredith and I wrote a book. Uh, we went to Schilling for the first time, and they said a lot of like their first time beer drinkers love the triple because they were wine drinkers. So like having like that as your gateway is to us seems crazy because it's like the triple sounds kind of crazy, but if you're coming from something else, it's a well and it, that it's sort of transition transition goes back to when you talked about like you know what do you what are you trying to introduce people with? I try to understand what they like because there's enough there's enough choice. We we did hit sixty. Well, we, we should do one more just to make sure we do. We should do that yeah, last one. That last buzzer. <laughs> oh, do you, you need me to fill you up? Yeah, sure. But <laughs> I was wondering about what the MacGruber like. Sean Walker in the comments says that we should do a bourbon talk. We, yes, I love. Uh, I've yes, I've no, asked but, for a brown liquor talk since my so, first appearance. Cheers, sir. So the fourth che- seat. Cheers is right. We made it. We did it. We made it. The cheers is for Sean because we have a fourth mic and he will be here for that. I love friend from home. He's got to be sitting right there for the bourbon talk. Beautiful. It's probably going to be a short one. <laughs> Imagine if I just <laughs> shut it down right now. <laughs> Didn't say like no alco. No mic drop. Uh, so we did it. That was. 60 minutes. So I want to hear your feedback as a first timer. I think so, so. You guys handled that surprisingly easy. But, so I think so. Yes, because we were able to. We had stuff to talk about. We weren't just sitting there like. Which because no, like I said, about. usually it's you know. usually you know you're playing like music or something, and you're just you're waiting. Like it's, it's, it's it's all about like I'm waiting for the shot. I'm waiting for the shot. Oh, we, yeah. we weren't. We were surprised by the shot, uh, not waiting for it, which is definitely different for me. Um, Kim, do you still guys want to? Stick around for like 20 more minutes? To, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to get like another beer or something? You mean another highlight? Should we keep? It, should we go to dial it up to add a couple more minutes to this thing? What do you want to do? You tell me. You can do... So, the, the it's called the Century Club, which you keep going to 100. I pro- uh, Ashley's uh, listening, uh, and I promise we're we'll not going to we'll do Let's just do a regular beer. <laughs> we, well, can, enough to get to 100. Can I get a house beer, though? Yeah. All right. We'll just do that. And I, I have, it's, it's I have hoppy one... Ta- it's hoppy table beer. I, right I have... That's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sorry. What's the, wait, what's different than house beer? It's hot beer? I thought they had a different... You can buy this at the grocery store, and house beer, you can only buy it at the brewery. Correct. Correct. I'll you, keep you, drinking you take, take, take controls, I'll leave. It's <laughs> like bullshit. No. Um, oh, opener me. There he is. Got so, it. yes, that's the end of the power hour. I think for my first one, it was good, but only because we had a good conversation the whole way. Like, we're not, like, watching some YouTube the video conversation- of Spice Girls. There's, like, a night... Like, if you go to YouTube, you can find any one-hour cut of yeah power hour which we should do that i had never heard of before but like it, it's not good for the video because it would be uh shut down <laughs> yeah well, we're definitely not going to century club i got the text message from ashley yeah it's not happening <laughs> but no 10-4. we can definitely we can finish up so, a, yeah, a little few yeah. here so I, I only had a couple more questions is that kind of off the cuff when i woke up this morning in like a nervous sweat of today and whatever um i wanted to know what your guys's best beer pairing was non-food like, what do you like to drink beer to? Like an activity? Sure. I don't know. I wrote best beer. I, I, wow. I, I got to tell you, I'm a huge hammock beer fan. Okay. Beer and, and hammocks? And yeah. I, it may be cliche, but fucking shower beers. Oh, sh- I was, I was totally going to go shower so, beer. I beer love and shower. everything about that. There's nothing better than okay. shower beer. And it, it's, not, it's, it's not specific to, like, what type of beer. I, I was going to say uh, video games for me. It's just a, a beer and a video game. Is D- like, does your gameplay improve? It doesn't. It doesn't disprove. It doesn't for me. 
and I'm a terrible video game player. But I was yeah. th- that game. Uh, what was the one with the puzzles and the uh, w- the witness? The witness. Yeah, the witness. Man, I started that game like a few beers deep, and it's all it is is problem solving and puzzles. And I was just like, it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so yeah, I, I've, I've had a couple uh oh moments where I'm playing with like Hetty Topper, and I'm like. Okay, I need to stop playing games. I or imagine or like a first single person player because I'm not helping anybody out. It's just like, dr- like operating heavy Ugh. machinery, right? You've got to yeah. be able to react quickly. It's it's the <laughs> scene. It's the scene in MacGruber where he picks up guns for the first time and just like they go off automatically. Like that's how I am with like a focal banger and Halo. <laughs> you know, I will say. Um, so for me, it is the shower beer. To me, is the the never done it. Never oh, had, never had a beer in the shower. What? Do it today. <laughs> yes, I've already showered. So no, no, shower, shower again. again, and then you'll have a shower beer, and then you're shower. Yeah. The time. name of this podcast, if it wasn't Power Hour, is but, Shower Again. <laughs> uh, the other, <laughs> the other night, uh, when I was building some of the Saturn V Lego set, uh, which you've thankfully not thrown me under the bus on with the, the listeners yet. <laughs> Only a little bit. Um, I actually uh, we, Saturn V. We, we came home and I cracked open a heady and started building Legos. And I'm not going to say a this. Bad man. No, the problem is. I spent too many time, too much time building Legos and not drinking the heady. Like things, it, <laughs> exactly. it requires too much yeah, hand yeah. movement. I need like one of those beer helmets or something <laughs> so that I could drink there. it. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I kept saying to myself, oh my god, like every five minutes, drink the beer. Like there was a, in an inner monologue, drink the beer, drink. <laughs> oh, it's getting warm. Drink the beer. Drink the beer. So that was a difficult part. Yeah, Ashley, Ashley's calling me out on uh, <laughs> likening video game playing to operating heavy machinery. Similar risks, just, well, they, for sure. Similar, similar it's risks. the same. It is the same thing. It's true. Like, it, let your team I just down? meant in terms of in terms of reaction time. Well, dial it down with the volume. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> she's never been part of a clan that? before. I mean, are you kidding me with that? I should put this on the screen. Like, holy cow! With the list, Jeff Lee has been yeah, known for being 60. loud. That's all right. There's a lot of driving off the road because of just vocal vocal banger. That's a pretty good podcast name. Mm-hmm. No, he, ben, oh, Ben just left. That's weird. <laughs> ben just slowly is like. <laughs> So, yeah, so my I've, chair doesn't have wheels. I can't just. So yeah, I've, away. Ne- I've never done a shower beer because I feel like that's a. But this comes from a guy who just did a Sunday morning power hour. I've never done well, it though. Like, yeah, it's a little extreme. Yeah. A, a me. first time power hour Sunday morning. I don't know about those people. <laughs> I'd rather drink sixty beers at ten o'clock in the morning. So yeah, but this is good though. Do you but get it's the, the, here's the thing with a shower beer. Cause, it's it's the heat of the shower with the coolness oh, it's, it's, of the beer. It's got to be fresh out of the fridge. It's got to be you, but you go think right into the shower okay, with so, cold beer. So maybe I, I, maybe I, I think about the, the shower beer as something just like I want to start drinking now, but I have to shower kind of thing. But you're, you're, well, you don't you're do pairing. it before work. You're not, you're not, <laughs> yeah, it's not a Monday morning. I didn't mean it should not have beer. come off like that. I didn't mean to say <laughs> No, yeah, there's definitely like this a getting readiness Tomorrow. about it perhaps. Yeah. Sure, or, sure. Yeah. I, I will say this though, like, I'd even take a you know a can of Coke in the in the shower like it's it's refreshing, but it's so I so cool that, the insides. Uh, this is too much information, but I take a quick shower, so I don't know. Well, and I'm, I'm not in there like for an hour and a half or anything, but it's. <laughs> Are you in there for a power hour? Well, I mean, <laughs> let's put it this lot. way: the Let, water bill is. You know, in twelve minutes, <laughs> in twelve minutes, we finished a beer today each. So, like you. I guess you don't take a twelve minute shower. Probably maybe like an eight minute shower. It's about it's about right. Yeah, I don't know. Not even. I mean, that's you're in there for a bit. This is 15 so, minimum. Oh, oh, boy. I don't get up that early. I'd rather sleep that sleep later. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've got two built-in alarm clocks. I don't have a problem with that. What's your other question? It's, <laughs> Moving on. It's a terrible. It's no, terrible. no, ask it. We, we, we just talked about our shower habits. You could I thought our coffee orders. Ass. I ranked them, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> What, what would it be? I thought our bomber, coffee orders bomber, were too 12 No, uh, it was just favorite movies. I want to know what you guys' like, favorite movies are. And just to talk about like other stuff that's not beer related to kind of get a, like a little flavor in there i can give you my top three yeah l- why don't you which, start which, for which, which, why don't which, you which start? won't set the stage for any, for anything why don't, why don't you start for triple x is in there triple mm-hmm. gruber is in there mm-hmm. well, all right I, i'm leaving <laughs> no, no, this is are you kidding are you kid, we're talking about best movie no, do, you, do you know number three because you you literally listed them one two triple triple x two <laughs> <laughs> you bad, did tell me Triple X is an amazing movie on the first podcast. Amazing. So, so yes, my top three in order: Triple X, MacGruber, Gladiator. Mm. So I, I feel like you got. I those can't backwards. believe like we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, best not, friend. you, we're not best friends. Oh, bring it up here. Hold on. We said it finally. God, it took us more than sixty minutes. But yeah, no. So that's those are my favorite movies. I have a I have top ten, but 
I will not put mine in an actual order. You don't have to. Mm, yeah, that's I don't fine. Know. No, it's fa- just favorite movies in general. That's fine. You don't have to say. A movie I can watch forever, uh, The Hunt for Red October. That's a good movie. Great. Like, I could watch it for, I can quote it. If have you, you ever seen Das Boot? I, so, I have seen Das Boot. What's, and this, what's this for the un- uninitiated? It's a German submarine movie. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. And so, it was other side. Other so, yeah. also, you know the, cool. the, the movie Beer Fest? Yeah, the uh, the, the boot. Uh, grandpapa, the the guy that ran the brewery there, yeah. and they talk about when they were in the submarine, and he's like, "I had a bad experience once." He plays the captain. He's in that movie. Yeah, That's he's the captain cool. of the sub, yeah. and, and so it's about awesome. a it's about a German sub cool. in World War Two, and it's uh, honestly the first time I saw it, I was not like overly impressed. I need to watch it again, and I probably will, will appreciate it far more. If you if you, I, I mean, it was something that I watched at, at like film school. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so so you're not look you're not. Taking a step back and looking at it objectively as like, oh, this is a movie. You're looking at it like, oh, the shots. Look what the, they did. Yeah, yeah exactly. using the silence That's cool. as an actor. Yeah. You know, what is it, Grandpapa? Yeah, oh, Grandpapa. Um, so, beer vest number two. <laughs> oh, uh, so we we totally need to do a let's watch beer fest. We've been talking about podcast. that. Let's watch. Let's watch beer fest is. Fucking oh my god! I can't wait. I can't. But, but, I'm but, excited. But, no, so we yeah. definitely can't do it live because of <laughs> FBI and violations. Well, no, we, DCMA, we could that. be watching it, but maybe not have the audio pumped through. So, or so what what we do and, and how we've we've seen uh, a lot of podcasts do it is we'll watch it, but we'll also fade in the audio every now and then for people to sync it up. Yeah. So if, oh, okay. if, if you want to watch us talk over or listen to us talk over beer fest, go go nuts. It's just like Pink Floyd and the Wizard of Oz, but it's. Our stupid asses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, we'll, we'll, that yes, let's watch Beer Fest. All right. Uh, yeah. Hunt for Red October is definitely one of them. Yep. Uh, we're going to stick with the military theme here. Patton. Beaches. Oh, no, you Patton. Patton. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Patches? Patton. Oh. Patton. I'm a, a big World War World War II buff, so I, I enjoy watching Never it. seen Patton. Oh, you should. It won, it won Best Picture. No, yeah, and I, I'm the king of guys that have, have, haven't seen... Uh, Which uh, movies? I haven't seen like a nowadays. Lot of good movies. They say nowadays, winning Best Picture, I would be like, don't watch it, right? Because totally. it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, but no, I just, I just enjoy it. It's, it's. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, biographies, even autobiographies. Uh, sure. Most of what I read are actually biographies. Nice. And so seeing, you know, seeing a film that that you know takes somebody through through life there, or even just a short period. So you didn't read the John Adams biography that he wasn't four eleven? No, just making sure. I did not. Honestly, John Adams wouldn't interest me. I would read a read a Washington biography yeah. and a jefferson and even a john adam a uh, john uh, uh um quincy no the madison madison james Jeez. madison james madison see, the, the madison the madison see well it's the power <laughs> hour the, po- in. the power oh, i'm gonna back away from the mic the power hour has happened i'm getting too loud I can, <laughs> my own heads. um minute one i gotta dial yeah, it down a little I, bit as far as the third movie i'm gonna goes, take a picture of this mix board where <laughs> jeff's is wait, wait which one is mine which, you're, you're two <laughs> Oh, I'm barely down. You got to bring it down a little bit. Uh, as far as my, my third favorite movie, I mean, that's really, that's really tough. I, I, get, I can't think of any. No, that's fine. Uh, uh, so, no, you can't think of any. I movies? can think of a lot of movies that I love. So, yeah, so, so, name, so, two so movies, yeah. name two movies you like, so I don't feel. Yeah, bad. Or, or even recently defined. Like what? Like what? Like what has what stuck? Like as flatliners. Ones? Never heard of it. The, the new one? The, wait, the original the, no, one or the, the new, new one? one? The new one that's coming Who, out. So who's in the new one? I haven't one? seen it yet. Because no. Kiefer Sutherland's in the original right. one, oh, right? No, I don't know about that. Um, what's her name from Juno? Mm-hmm. Uh, Ellen Page? Ellen Page. Yep. That's all I remember. No, Ellen. Just Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm I don't not know. I'm not in friendship I, thing. I actually, I, I, knew, I knew that the reboot was coming out, but I, and cool. I saw the trailer for the first time last night. Awesome. Uh, but that's a good movie. Oh, Julia Roberts was in the original. I think You're it, right. I was I was going to say that. But I don't want to tell you one of your favorite movies that you told me about. Primer? Primer? Yeah. Yeah. Primer's good. Have you great. seen Primer? No. You would well, you would What is what is it about? Dig. Oh. It's, it's, it's a it's a real it's a real life scenario time travel movie. It's 80 minutes long. It's not a fantasy time it's like travel. It's short. Like okay. It's, it's not a it's not a Back to the Future. Kevin Bacon was in the original. Kevin one too, Bacon, yeah. What a so, hot cast. And Oliver Platt, by the way, who <laughs> super underrated. Cast. What a hot cast. Super underrated. Love, uh, love Platt. Love yes, Platt. I was waiting for. I was hopefully. I was hoping this question would bring up Primer because you got to watch it. You got to watch it. It's so good. What, when did this come out? Primer. Uh, mm-hmm. Two thousand, early two thousands. It was one of the first like. It was during indie the two thousand four to sweep. Really? Like, is it? Is it the one from two thousand four? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, that's it for sure. But it's it's only it's a short. It's short like movie. 70, 70 something minutes. And you watch it's it twice. So you short. gotta watch it twice. You, you seventy seven like, minutes. It's you, seventy seven. It's, it's minutes. over, and you you just start it's it over. So the, the best part too is when you look. So you go pull up the Wikipedia article, and they have like directed by, produced by, written by, starring, music by. Shane Carruth. Yeah. It's one just, guy. It's just yeah. No, I swear. I'm sorry. Sorry. I realized I went loud there. <laughs> we'll check out that, we'll check out that audio. No, yeah. I'm going to check out that. I, I know what it's like. That. It's just it's just this from Audacity. Shane Carruth. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> makes that. Yeah. You like peaks? Yeah. yeah. Shane Carruth. And he's, he's gone on to do a couple, uh, at least one more. Yeah. Uh, oh, what was that movie? Oh, so Steve, Steve, this is, this is a quote from Steven Soderbergh about Shane Carruth. I view Shane as the illegitimate offspring of David Lynch and James Cameron. Jesus. That's yeah, serious. I, I'd sign off on that. Right. I mean, I don't like James Cameron, but that's fine. I mean, I, I think he's giving a compliment to Dave. He's not talking about Avatar James Cameron. Oh, I think he's well, talking about like T2 point, James yeah. Cameron. Oh, well, yeah, T2 or um, I definitely what's recommend the underwater that. one? Uh under uh, water, water so James Cameron, the abyss. Oh, the abyss. Thank T you. Titanic with um, T -T oh, that's that's a great movie with never, Michael never Michael Bean it. as a it. Navy SEAL, of course, always a Navy yep. SEAL. Anyway, all right. What's your other questions? But that was it. That was it. We you, we you, killed them all. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> for, you, you, did you bring, you didn't bring questions? Well? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. When did you come up with those questions? Six a.m. This is six a.m. Right here. <laughs> I woke up like. I'm nervous to be here for oh, this. Ashley likes Avatar. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Refuse to. I I don't but ever. So you guys had to go to the. So Ashley must be going to the Avatar World once they build it at Disneyland, Disney World. They're building a whole Avatar park. When? Uh, twenty twenty probably. Ten years old. So I haven't. I have not they been. Have to, two more in the bank coming up. I haven't been to Disney World since ninety five. Awesome. I went there three I'm, years ago. I'm going to be there in a couple weeks. Unfortunately. Whoa. What? Is that, yeah. is that your Louisiana trip? So going to see WrestleMania thirty? No, so we're do, I'm doing Louisiana for the Patriots game, and then I spent a couple of days there in New, New Orleans, and then yep. going to Orlando to see my dad, uh, and spending a few days with him. But then I'm staying in Orlando for a conference, Disney's which great. will be at I think it'll be at um, Universal is the conference thing. But uh, my, you know, my dad, my stepbrother, they all have uh, you know passes and shit yeah, and so I'm, gonna go as an adult if you had if you were there for a conference or just for you were in the area i would say epcot is like the park to go to as an adult oh, you can do the beer tour exactly beer around the world yeah, exactly. I, I do so, know that i mean i, I like rides so like all of them are great like hollywood like i i wasn't a big fan of uh animal one animal animal plant uh, kingdom animal yeah. kingdom animal, not planet, yeah. Planet animal Channel. Channel. yeah but no but the epcot was was cool to do the around the world thing uh, I mean, any final things before we shut this thing down? I mean, we, I think we did fine. Uh, yeah, I'll find we'll, out in twenty minutes when well, I'm like n not fine. We're, we're gonna ha we're gonna but. have to do our Portsmouth show because, like, I swear to God, the first time you had me on was we, almost we two months ago. It, yeah. Now, like, I started to go down that path. You were like, "No, no, we have a show but, planned uh, for that." But I, I also, I, I don't want to. I mean, Ben should be here for this too. But it's also like a very like we lived in Portsmouth. Lived it. We lived way it way too long, and lived I hate. It. I love Portsmouth. I, I so I, I honestly my, the the Eight. the preface that? Hmm? the preface that I wanted to put on what I was going to say is <laughs> this isn't me like complaining about um I don't, I don't know say gentrification is the wrong word but about progress like I'm I'm not I'm not bitching it's definitely not, no I'm it's not, not that. I, like I'm not that guy that that wants you know the days of bananas or whatever to happen like I just it has changed into something days that, of bananas days, of, days of thunder. It, well, banana is the pl the bar. No, I know. I, I was never there. Uh, for that, but that's where the, like pa the, bar. the page was, right? Yes. Bananas, yeah. So it was. This isn't me like wanting like those days and bitching that things change. Yes, right. things change. I am the most realist person of anybody you'll talk to. It's just become a city that I still love, and I will always call it my adopted hometown. Okay. But it isn't the place that I want to spend all my time anymore, like I used to. Definitely. And yeah. I'm just gonna find a new. I'm gonna find a new. Town. Especially and you're in, you're in Dover now. I well, mean, Dover Point. Yeah. That's, well, not the address is no. <laughs> yeah, no. Look at that <laughs> audio file. Like, Dial it down. No. <laughs> uh, so I need. Can we have a guy that just pulls my mic back and forth? Oh, Sean, what I'm about Sean to Jansen say. was supposed to come here, but he, yeah, he did, couldn't show. Because I, I can't always move my head back and forth. Like um, this. So this is going to do it for the for the podcast. Um, ben, what is happening in the next week? 
Um, anything you want to give a shout out to? Um, so three penny though, I'll talk first because you were in, you're, I, I'm coming in hot. So he's going to ask you a question that then he's going to answer. I'll answer your question. No, I like it. No, so, being put on spot. And then what's and, happening? And then pull you back. <laughs> so I'm going to Burlington uh, for the weekend next weekend. Nice. And first stop is always three penny tap room, and we talked about that many times because Cornitas was everything around me. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, my my good friends uh, uh, own. Manage, run, have for years. God, they're in there like their sixth or seventh year. And as far as like craft beer in uh, Vermont goes, they were right there at the inception. And and I I want to go to Good Measure because I have you been yet? Nope. Maybe so. Maybe I'll make a how make far a up in Vermont vote. are you going? This is, this is Montpelier, but I'm going to Burlington. Foam. No, no, foam, foam is on the. I've been there. Love it. Have you been to Worthy Burger on the way up? Not yet. For, is that what, is that Watertown? It's Watertown, it's in South Royalton. Royalton, South Royal. Okay, so I'll add that to the list because I, I like to stop there for like their tap list and get, where get the burger a, is great. Get a burger, get a beer. All right, you will not regret it. Amazing, I'm in. Uh, but that's it for me. <laughs> Back to you. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. I'm gonna paint some rooms in my house. Hey, what? That's pretty good. Yeah, let's talk paint for a second. <laughs> uh, Save for an hour and a half paint. No. I am uh, in a similar boat to Ben. Uh, when I leave here today, actually, we're gonna go to Lowe's pick up some new some blinds and some curtains and stuff awesome. and, you know go to some other places and do the home do the home stuff but i have that uh, awesome care package from wes and uh epa from san francisco so i'll be drinking enough which means things will be crooked which means we'll have to redo them <laughs> a little bit to the Good i enough. forget about it we'll yeah. have to redo them <laughs> I, i've yeah. noticed that about uh about <laughs> blinds and things in my house <laughs> oh yeah later. i was i was drinking what was i thinking yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah that was the beer it's day. fine it makes yeah. sense <laughs> Awesome. So, uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah no, this is uh, this has been great. I, it went better than I thought it was going to go. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, cheers. 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 So, uh, quick uh, quick background. Uh, check out the uh, website if you're uh, listening for the first time. Let's talk dot beer. Uh, Facebook is where the live videos are. The high def versions of the video are on YouTube, which the links will be all over the place. And everyone that that chimed in today, appreciate it. It's it's been fun. Uh, now we have the entire day ahead of us because we started way too early. And, uh, no, this is the this thing. is the right time to start. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to, uh, to to Mad Hops for the experiment. I I, I enjoyed listening to you guys. I'm never gonna know I'm good. No, you're gonna do them. You're, we're gonna hold you down and make you do them. So we, we might do it during the after show real quick because I still have a warm beer sitting there. But uh, for the audio podcast, we're done. Um, and uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. We did it. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, you want to do another one? Not right now. Start right? it. Start it now. <laughs> yeah. Ding ding ding. Yeah, I'll no. do it. I'll right. do it. I'll still win. All right. Cheers, guys. Is there a mouse here? Uh, but yeah, I don't want to do these things. I mean, so the, the, so the video is still going, by the way. I got to go to the bathroom for those too. of you on the video. All right, so you're up. I'll take the shower. You go <laughs> on the toilet. No, you go. Oh, no, we, we both pee in the shower. Like it's like a first, trough at Fenway first, in the old days. First of all, two yeah. things in there. First, first of all, how, yeah, how are there not more troughs at more bars? Let's have a whole bar Sean, Brenda, Ashley, Rick, cheers. Coming in hot with the comments. Love it. Go at to, at. No, go, yeah, in the, yeah. go in the toilet, you asshole. No, no. Uh, <laughs> this is no, not that kind of show. Much much appreciation for everybody in the comments today. And it, uh, it's early. It's early in a holiday weekend. Ben, how did we do? Thoughts? Uh, I think you did really well. Like, and now I'm regretting my decision because I'm like, you guys I mean, made it through that just fine. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yep. Hold on a second. I'm just going to name this file. I could still go dad at this point. I should have brought, I should have gave Jeff a wireless mic so we can hear him Pete. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Who said that? This is crazy. Uh, no, it's this, this is it's good too. No, I think I could, I think I could tackle that. This is probably too much information for anybody that's still listening, but I was up very in, the, in the middle of the night with uh, some stomach issues. And Ugh. I just, I was like sitting, yeah. <laughs> sitting there with a, with an iPad, like looking up Power Hour. And it was like, yeah, I was in half, it was like seven and a half beers. And I was like, ah, so I'm good. If yeah. I do that and like go, <laughs> right, go home. I'll probably I watch the video to make sure we spot. we checked in all of them, but I don't think we missed one. No, I and I was watching. Okay, I mean, you guys nailed it. But 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 we're the three of us collectively are I mean are naturals and talking about beer and drinking beer at the same time, so it's it's no problem. Oh, it's a it's a scrubber. You you attach different uh, heads to it, and yeah, it's good for the good. It's good for video. <laughs> We're, so we're gonna do a short. We're gonna do a short after show while everyone goes to you know collectively. But I like to keep the cameras going. No. Uh, yeah. Let's put a <laughs> next little, time. No. Maybe not a full like. You know, with, with, do you want to do fresh fresh glasses or no? 
I mean, no, just throw a little in there. All right. Back in the old days, before you had surgery, they'd give you a swig of that, and they'd rub you, you know. It's a swig, though. Just put a, just put a little in there. Hang on, will you? Hit the... Andrew Miles checking in, a.k.a. my sister. Uh, I think your sister is our biggest fan. She prayed She prayed for us today at church. It, it worked. <laughs> it did. It did work. I can't get this in. Although, you want me to show you how to open it? What is that thing, though? Is that where, where it should a, be? It's a, it's a pull tab, yeah. No, no, this way. It's sideways. It's a sideways tab. Just give it to me. It's, give, it's, give it to me. Jeez. Awesome video. Uh, yeah, we did it. Uh, just <laughs> left church. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what are you, what are you, Your prayers you worked. It was fine. We did it. Thoughts? Did you get a coffee at all today, though? No, I didn't get a coffee today. No kidding. So I don't own. I, had, I, don't, I, own a co- I don't own a coffee maker. I just have a curious. Because I well, but I don't like hot coffee at all. Same. We talked about this before. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Like, but I, I need it if I want like a quick like surge of caffeine. I'm gonna smell this the the bottle that is the bottle just for yeah, those of you no no there's no oh, audio. there's no audio okay okay <laughs> there's no audio That's anymore glorious is it yes pour yourself a little of that that is is there is there a glass for uh, the watts he might have to slug it out of the bottle or tell him absolutely to come not out. absolutely not uh, Ben uh, bring a glass to try some of the Oban. Uh, this is a Diageo product right here. Diageo, they're they're one of the biggest. Diageo does uh, Guinness, I think. They distribute Guinness here, too. I believe so, yeah. yeah. We're still alive. Yeah, we're still, we, I mean, we're, we're done. We're doing the after show now, and uh, we're just kind of capping it off here. So you got Lowe's. You're going to Lowe's? Yeah, we get up, you know, we Adulting. get up lines. Yeah. yeah, and then. I bought a tractor other. cover, and that's pretty much it. You you ha- oh like a lawnmower. Uh, riding lawnmower yeah. riding, what, what do you got a John Deere uh, Toro no I'm not sure I, I don't think either of those but my dad brought it up yesterday it's outside. is that the thing that I saw outside the window in the bathroom that's covered like the Batmobile it looked like a grill I was I was like oh why is your grill like it's way in the middle yeah. of your yard because I'm getting a new shed soon and I need to Ooh, there's the nowhere shed. For... you building or you no buying... I'm, I'm gonna order uh, order a shed come on. Man. We could do a whole show on uh, a let's shed ta- building beer. Hey, come back to our other show. Let's talk sheds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rick Bruce says enjoy the the Oban. We're doing a little, just a little taste. Just yeah, just a wee taste for me. Even though Ben goes full glass on this, yeah. obviously, for sure he does. He ben, waited. He waited an hour for this. Ben brought up ice cubes oh and the God. little water dropper. Appreciate it, Rick Bruce. Yeah. Appreciate it. You, you don't have to slug this either, guys. Just this is a sipper. Yeah, this yeah, is but, a sipper. I mean, I still want to cheers though because oh I'm not, no, I'm not an animal. Jesus. Absolutely. Cheers, guys. It's, it's been real. It's been Ooh, real. The, the festival. Is that the 2012 glass? It is the one. That, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have that one. Or is, is it 2012? Is that how long ago it was? It was 12. It's 12 or 13. That's good. I'm going to excuse myself. Can you guys carry the show for three days while but I tea? I, so, first of all, this is pretty peaty. <laughs> this is on the on the peatness. Keep an eye on the comments. Can I go to the bathroom? Ye- can you guys handle these? Ben, ben, we, we can I hold it. Yes. We should just let, so. let him go under the impression that we're going to be fine. And yeah, then just, just dead, dead air. air. Just <laughs> complete dead air. No, this, I mean, no, this is, this, the Oban's great. Like, I'm not a super Pete guy. You know what this, uh, what's nice about this at age 14 is that there's very little, like, like, stringent burn. Oh, burn, yeah. No, there, it, it is. It is smooth It, as it hell. is smooth. You know, there's, there's oak and there's peat. Uh, no, and I, I agree. I mean, this is this is good. This is about maybe the peatiest I'd want it. For my, yeah. Um, have you ever been to Portland, Oregon? Never, but I will be soon. My brother just oh, moved there like two right. weeks ago. Uh, well, I'm going to come with you then. It is my favorite city. Uh, you need to look up the Multnomah Whiskey Library. It is the finest whiskey bar in the world. Outstanding. In my opinion. Not that I have a whole lot to compare it to, but I'm, we're going to say that. Uh, they have, like, uh, library shelves, whiskey bottles up on the walls. They got, like, a rolling um, ladder kind of a thing. They only let the number of people in the room that they have seats for, too, so it's not like everybody's Standard, crowded yeah, in there. Yeah. You either sit at the bar or they've got, like, you know, six or eight uh, little couch sort of things going on. Um, the The list is 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 an inch thick. Like a leather bound <sighs> book, you can't read it and make your own decision. Yeah. You, you have to like Just talk to, to the guy. The guys, like, what do you like? Yeah. And I went in there uh, with my brother and uh, and some friends, and I was like, yeah, I'm not a super Pete. Like I like more the vanilla scale, and I kind of like, yeah, and I don't want to spend you know 
$85 an ounce or whatever. And he was like, oh, try this. And I was like, oh, okay. And then it was great. Uh, we were able to do that the whole night. It's just a super, super awesome place. If you want to do whiskey, the Multnomah Whiskey Library in Portland, Portland Oregon. Oregon. Oh, nice. Wait, where's that for the mic? Oh, oh uh, no. <laughs> in, in Port- that was my question before I turned the mic. Portland, Oregon. Right, cool. Whiskey so, Library. Yeah, no, his, his brother just moved to uh, Portland. Which when, when are we going? Does he? Yeah, does he have a bedroom <laughs> to do or, a live, or two? Live so, podcast. I'll, I'll talk about this for for one minute, but he just so he works for uh, the government for uh, Fish and Wildlife, and he is on an island, eight miles outside of city limits. 11,000 acres of farmland that he's going to be, and his wife, and a, and it's a small team, farming specifically for waterfowl, for growing crops for waterfowl Whoa. to eat as they... Like bird, like, 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 like ducks and... Yep, geese. Geese. As they go north to south. I didn't know our government did that stuff. That's amazing. <laughs> I, pro- not for much longer, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm yeah, 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 not, not, the yeah, that's, <laughs> no, not that we're going to get po- political or anything here. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Good, yeah. We'd like to talk about some hot news that's just coming over the wire. Oh, shit. And this is this is this hot. home with me. It's hot. Real hot. Steely and Dan. Is hot. Oh, go ahead. Steely Dan's Walter Becker. Dead at 67. Whoa. It's right here. Are we, pour, are we pouring one out right now? Jesus. Shit. Pour one out for the homies. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, get in Steely there. Dan, one of my favorites. Holy shit. Mm. Damn, that sucks. This is good. That, is good. that news sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is PD, though. It, it is I mean, PD, but, but also it was, but, it, but I've had pd I've well, had no, but ones I that are like, oh. we were talking about that there's no burn, though. It's no, like definitely peat, not, just, uh, and then you get a little, you get yeah. a little vanilla sweetness, oak, right, right. It's this is so. For those great. that, for those are still watching, or, or God bless, but we do. For those who started watching, yeah, yeah also that. <laughs> but we also do. Let's not talk beer. Where we literally, there's no penalty for talking about beer, but we try not to steer the conversation away from beer, and we we don't serve beer, so you won't see beer. You have stuff like this. Our first. And only episode is with JT, which is I thought was a great episode. We got Absolutely. more about JT from uh, he's now craft beer seller, but uh, at the time, so it's awesome. Yeah, so I mean, you'll you'll get a lot of information about like the the beer people that you see in the beer worlds, uh, but no more about them. That's not beer. Yeah, because because every brewer gets a question like to talk about beer. Like every brewer is probably like, I don't, I don't yeah. want to talk about. I, beer. I mean, we we've all talked about it. Is it's just like it's nice to have friends or nice to have people that we can just talk about anything but beer. Like. It, that's not our. I mean, our. We have a podcast that has you know beer involved, but it's nice to talk about other things too. That's why I tossed in that video. In that well, I mean, question, but yeah, we, even even just in just our in actual general. beer podcast, yeah. we you know we bring up food, we bring right. up restaurants, we we talk about at least you know things you can enjoy. You know, beer is something you can enjoy. Let's talk about the other things you can enjoy. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot, and then and uh, like you were saying, there's. That's all that brewers get to talk about, right? So and it's it, like a little a chance for them to. Yeah, it, I, I've, it I've, I've met beer people that, that that's their their only motive is to talk about beer. It's like, well, I would like to, I'm not not that I like in want, I want to know more about you, but I like let's talk about something else because yeah. beer sometimes can be like, all right, we get well, it. Like, here's this happening. Like, no, we want, I want to talk whatever. It goes back to the whole like you know we're not line waiters. We're not those guys who are all about the latest greatest canned double. Uh, American East Coast IPA thing, double like stout. Yeah, you know, you know, it's it's about you know be, beer. The, we've talked about too just today the wide gamut that beer provides. If you don't like yeah. beer, it's because you haven't found the right beer. We're we're not, we drank High Life this entire time. We are not snobs. We are not by I any love, way. Snobs. Even though, can you? Oh, you moved already. But I love the little uh, wall you had set up behind you, Ben. It's perfect. Oh yeah, Ben did a great <laughs> job pulling the empties. Pulling, pulling the, the empties. It was, gonna get, it was gonna get messy here. If not, <laughs> it's fine. But no, no, I I I, tr- I truly believe that. I mean, and not not to say that like the brewers or beer reps are like mad that they can't talk about anything but beer. But we want to just. Well, I want the information. Like, where'd you where'd you grow up? Like, what'd you do? Yeah, as a kid. Like, I want to know that stuff because it's easy for a podcast to say, "How'd you get into beer?" We can do that podcast, and we will. But I want another podcast to say, "What what like influences in music did you have?" And like, what'd you do well, as a because a kid? that makes who makes you who you are, totally. which goes into and I, the I, beer you make. And we'll talk to Nick Evans, and this is a, 
semi spoiler, but I want to. I want. We well, might talk about it a little bit, but maybe for the let's not talk beer will be like he's plays in a band. Like I want to hear that shit, so that'll come up for let's not talk beer. Yeah, stuff absolutely. Like that. So, uh, anything else before we shut the after party down? After no, party? Uh, this was this was super successful. Oh, was uh, yeah. I mean, I was didn't know how it was going to go. You know, newbie and all. Now you're I'll not double, a newbie. You're I'll, not a newbie. Yeah, I know it's it's true, and, and I'll, I'll double check the tape and make sure I took sixty. But I'm pretty sure it was sixty. Well, we I'm pretty sure we took sixty one. It's true. We absolutely we did. did. Yeah, we took absolutely. 61. But yeah, so uh, uh, anything else, Ben? No. Nope. Uh, nope. Sweet deal. So that's going to do it for the after show. And uh, look for us next. We're going to be live on Thursday, the 7th. I believe, yeah, I believe it's the it's date. The 7th. Yep. Make sure to double check the date real quick. Yep. Thursday, the 7th at 7 p.m. We're going to be talking to Nick Evans from York River Landing and uh, just a, a general. Awesome, awesome beer, beer guy. guy. Like super excited, like the most excited beer guy you'll and, talk to. And we've talked about him probably every episode that we've collectively done. <laughs> so, Nearly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So uh, until next time, guys, Brian, Ben, Jeff. Cheers. Cheers.